Happy Friday. Hi guys. It's Fun Food Friday. I have to check and see who's here with us. Hold on. Un momento. We got seven people. I said hi to Mike. Um, let's see. Hang on. Um, Nathan's here. What's up, Nathan? Happy Friday. Mike is in the house. Kenneth. Good evening. Welcome in. Hassan is here. Tiki Man fan. Hey, how's it going? Everett's here. Welcome in Everett and Frankie's here. Hi guys. So, um, how are you doing? Did you guys have a good week? Anything new and exciting you wanna you wanna tell us about? So today we're going happy to Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It's Fun Food Friday. Um Frankie. And our fun food <laughs> is gonna be churros. And they might actually they sound kinda weird, but we're gonna make gourmet Disneyland churros. Um, and maybe they're going to be so good that Disney's going to want our recipe. Um, I'm just quite not sure how Hello, to Lisa. fill the churros. Welcome in, Diana. Hello, <laughs> but that's what Daniel. you guys are here. You can help me. Hi, um, Daniel's here. Happy Friday. Uh, Diana's here. Hello, Lisa. Hey, Kenneth. Hello. Kenneth's and, a hoot. Um, Eric's here. 
Hey, Tiki oh, Man fan. Donna's here. Oh, Donna's ready to cook with me. <laughs> hey, Donna. Oh, good. While you're here, I have a question. Ooh, dinners with Donna which one on of these, Sundays. Which one of these tips do I need to make a churro? I have these. I have ah. these. Um, I don't know if you can see. I have this one. One's fat, one's medium, and then there's this spirally. This one like is like a... Oh, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a spiral tip. And uh, it says they're supposed to squeeze Carol. the batter out. So I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't matter. But if anybody has any advice, this is like a bigger Hello, a bigger one. And that's like kind of a medium one. So anyways, Donna is a really good cook. So go check out Donna Jaworski's channel. Hello, um, <laughs> Rhonda's in the house. Hey, Rhonda, how's it going? Um, thank you for... Um, checking out those pants for me let me know what you find out um let me see did i miss anybody i think i got everyone we got everybody everybody's just saying hello so disney was amazing i would say this is one of my more memorable trips let's just say there was so much energy in the park i think because it had been closed for so long and um i think it's been this open was for a year the, it, huh <laughs> Well, it's been open for a year, but it's not been back to normal like it was before it closed, right? So I think that's the one reason there was like so much excitement. It was a vacation. Because it felt like it was back to normal. Like we I had think Star this, Wars. They had the, the, the Star, Star Wars, Wars convention, convention was going on right they across had a the street. Late night event at at uh, that, Disneyland. After dark, Disneyland. Fantastic after return. Dark. And Memorial Day weekend. And the new tale of a Lion King. Well, it actually, I guess, came over from DCA, but it came to the Fantasy Land Theater, which is a really cool um, theater over near Toontown in Disneyland. And then we watched the first opening show of that. We got to watch the opening show of Fantasmic. Um, so if anybody missed it, I know most of you guys were there right along with us um, as we got to experience everything. So we thank you for all of that support. But if anyone's back there watching Ninja who didn't get a chance to... Um, See it live be sure and maybe just go back and, and um, just run through some of those videos I think you'll be um, really impressed it was just so exciting and the, the new phantasmic show was just amazing so um, let me see so what we're gonna do oh, oh who's anybody else sneak in um, I know there's lots of does, does the show no Rhonda did I say Rhoda why are you asking me if I know Rhonda? I don't know her, like, I haven't met her. Thank you for asking me if I know Rhonda. Hey, Rachel, welcome in. Um, Brittany's here. Hey, Brittany. And the other cool thing was we met some of our, um, some of our, um, subscribers or followers at, um, Disneyland this time. I know we met Charlie. Um, I think he was, he was visiting. Rachel, what happened to our warriors? And we saw, um, Ashley. Hi, Rachel. So if any of you <sighs> are watching. Happy birthday, Rhonda. Ashley, we want to make sure we know we get the right Ashley to go with the name. So if you're watching one of these videos and you know, just um, send me an Instagram or just let me know in the chat which Ashley you are on YouTube so we know. Because <laughs> there's a couple of us that, a um, couple of you that um, Michelle, chat Rhonda's in here. birthday tomorrow. It's Rhonda's birthday tomorrow. So we have to happy birthday. Hey, Brittany. Do we have to say, are we, it's happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, Rhonda. I guess we'll have to sing. But I'm going to, we're going to be streaming tomorrow, which is a little different. Um. And I have it posted, I'll so sing it now. we could sing it there on your birthday, or we could sing it now. So no, we'll sing it. All right, now. we'll sing it now. We got all the. We have all the all the time. Okay, so let me go. Should we go get the sign? Sure. We'll go get the. I'll go get the sign. Don't go anywhere. And then I'm looking. Check out and see if um Donna um told me which thing to use. Oh, thank you, Donna. The largest star chip you have. Oh, thank you. There's my answer. Thank you so much, Donna. Okay, the largest. I use that this guy, so I'm gonna put those guys over there. We and then Hannah broke my handle the last time she used it, so it's gonna be. I think I'm gonna have to do it like manually. Oh, what happened to the handle? She broke it off. She did? Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's like it doesn't push it down anymore. So and you know, last time we had the accident with the thermometer, and we're gonna be using boiling oil or we're gonna thanks, use Ron, hot, I mean Donna. hot oil you tonight see, Donna so super I got a, chatted you I know that's why I said thank you because right. she also thanks, gave me the Donna. tip about it so I got a new one that has no glass and it said it's for deep frying and it it's, and I can clip it right on the pan so it goes in so we're gonna we're gonna check out this bad boy tonight and uh, make sure we don't we don't melt any thermometers 
Okay, hang on, hang tight. We're gonna sing happy birthday. Hey, Carol, gonna sing happy birthday to Donna, or not to Donna, to Donna. <laughs> we can sing it to Donna too. <laughs> Oh, everybody jumps in. Welcome in. Thanks for the super chat. Yay! We're going to be singing to, 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 um, Rhonda. I want to say Rhoda, but I was just talking to my friend Rhoda. So I keep wanting to call you Rhoda, and I know that's not, oh, that's wait, not the name. Let me get my happy birthday stuff. Okay, get your happy birthday song. I have no idea how I'm going to stuff these churros, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, I really have no idea. I know I'm gonna cook. <coughs> I'm gonna cook the uh, ingredients first, so we don't poison everybody. Um, so if anybody has any Tuna ideas, concoctions. No, Brittany, we have not. <laughs> um. Oh, a tuna. No, yes, we haven't. A pa a, a pastry bag. I do have a pastry bag. Um, hey, Keith. Welcome in, Keith. I've got a pastry bag, but then it doesn't have a um. I don't have a way to put the tip. I just have the bag. I don't have a way to attach the tip. Happy birthday! I don't think. Unless... Oh, wait. Do I just screw this thing on there? Okay, let me sing happy birthday. I have these. Happy birthday to you. Happy so that's the thing. So we'll, we'll figure this out. Maybe I can do a bag. Birthday, happy have a bag. Happy then what do I do? Maybe like... Okay, we'll sing. Maybe I just cut that off. We'll make up our own. Are you gonna sing it to her? Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out something with bad. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh. Help. Unless it goes inside the bag. Maybe it goes inside the bag. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna sing in just a sec. There we go. Maybe yeah, it goes I think like I saw. This. Is there a happy birthday, Brittany, too? Is there a happy birthday, Brittany? We have two happy birthdays. Maybe it goes like this. Oh, and uh, Keith is Friday. Well, Keep tune like in this? next Friday, Keith, and we will sing you happy birthday. Maybe it goes like this. That can't be right. I'm, I'm thinking see. the bag is not going to work Do I out. Do see another okay, birthday? We'll see. Let's Let see. Let's see. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. I don't think... Brittany, is it Amanda's your birthday? Amanda's here. Amanda's here. Keith's here. Welcome in. Hey, uh, Amanda. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> it might be oh, rough. Oh, and hey. Eric's birthday is the 17th. I'll be in Prague. Oh, that's a cool place. Oh. Eric travels all over the place. So if you want to see some of his travels, check out his channel. He's a he's a pretty cool dude. Oh, I can cut the bag down. Okay, you guys are going to... Hey, Pam. All right, you guys might have to help me out on that. We'll figure... Oh, yeah. Cut the bag. So I, I don't know if I can use those tips. We'll... Will, well, are uh, you gonna we'll... sing to her? Yes, or not? I am ready. Good Here we go. Lord. Ready? One. Ready? One. <laughs> hey, two. Pam. One, two, three. You ready? Ready? What are you Happy birthday to you. Wait, you forgot Gabe. Gabriel. Hurry. Hurry. <laughs> we have a birthday. Miss Rhonda. Miss Rhonda. Okay, ready? Wait. One. What happened to my things? I don't know. I don't know. Cut it to the I largest. Can't find it now. See, you have me. Cut the bag where the. You have me off my game now because you took so long. Hang on. Right? That's. I think it's coming up. Oh, that's okay. Well, cut the bag where the okay, largest part. Of... Okay, ready? Happy One, birthday. two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rhonda. Miss Rhonda. Miss Rhonda. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Hope it's going to be awesome tomorrow. You're going to have a great day. Donna says. Okay. Hey, Gabe. Oh, Donna says. hearts. So, oh, you know what? Yeah, that, that handle's broken, so please don't um, play with this. This is not a trigger. I think you're just like, you're making it worse. <laughs> hey, and check out Sam. Yeehaw Bobs. She did the hoax show last week, so check it out on replay. It was alive. And you can see some people dancing. Donna even danced. Yeah. They got in a chorus they line had with so Stacey, many friends there. Angela, 
Okay. Donna. I think there are right. some other people that I can't All think right. of right now. Okay. And you got to see Jeff march around. Now I need around, my recipe. I think with Nick. Um, now I'm trying to get my recipe. I'm trying to read. She said, cut it down to the biggest part. Cut the bag Samantha where the largest Lowe. part of the tip is so it fits through the bag. Hey, Keith. Did you check the freshness so, so of the meat and through. cheese? I never look at things like that when Michelle buys or cooks. What? What, what, what? It could be very discouraging. Do I put the bag this way? Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure. Do I put the bag inside the tip or do I put the tip inside the bag? I am so sorry. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to use a bag. I didn't know that they work with these tips. So I'm not sure if it goes inside or if it goes outside. I, I know I need to cut it, but um, I'm thinking the bag needs to go. I'm thinking it's. Let's see if my missing chat I'm thinking here. the bag has to go in here. We'll hey, figure it Lord out. Hey, Lord Well, We have plenty of time to figure it out. Okay, so hey, Jonathan, welcome in. If I missed anybody, um, I Michelle apologize. Michelle should not be put in charge of tuna fish. <laughs> you, <laughs> hey, Mr. Willie's here. Um, Lori Jean's here. Hey, welcome in. Okay, and before anybody goes anywhere, if there's any anybody who likes live music and listen to live music or any Bon Jovi fans in the house, I'm going to be at the Sunnyvale Art and Wine Festival tomorrow at 1 o'clock Pacific, which is like 4 o'clock Eastern. Um, there's a band there called... Um, steel horse and they do all bon jovi songs i'm sure they do some other songs but um they're gonna play a little set like between one and two so i'm gonna be there streaming it and then i'll take you guys around the festival so if anyone's free tomorrow wants to join me i think it'll be it'll be fun okay so um we're making tonight we're gonna do a cheeseburger and it's gonna be a impossible cheeseburger churro we're gonna do a shrimp churro and we're gonna do a tuna salad <laughs> a tuna salad churro Thanks. thank you thank you thank that was you. garrett's idea tuna salad so um my my challenge is to figure out how we're gonna stuff this stuff inside the churro because i'm thinking i'm gonna have to cook the churro around the stuffing so i'm gonna start cooking and i'm gonna make some uh i'm gonna make some hey jonathan long, welcome in i'm gonna make some long um, sorry some long stuff and then I've got to look at my churro recipe really quick because oh I'm at a wedding you'll miss it oh 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 that's cool oh we're halfway there halfway there oh you guys don't forget to bop that like button and if um welcome to all of our new subscribers we're super happy to have you welcome to everyone um, but a special welcome to any of our newest new subscribers that um, found us over the weekend um, we are super happy to have you here with us okay so you know what we need is like cooking music or something something exciting all right, where did my my menu go? Disney parks. Okay, uh, butter. That is not butter. Eight tablespoons of butter. It doesn't say if it's supposed to be melted or not. Oh dear. Okay, let me see. Uh, combine water, butter, salt. Oh, in a pan. Okay. All right, that sounds easy. I'm gonna do that last. I just need to see. I just need to see what I had to do. You know what? Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it, Garrett? The pans that I need are not clean. Okay. <laughs> Cause somebody used them. Alright, so we'll just we'll do one at a time. We'll just whip up the shrimp. The tuna salad. Hey is Nathan. Cold. Welcome in. Well, oh, the giants are winning. Oh, Richie, welcome in. Nathan, welcome in. What was the favorite part? Yeah. Mm. Like, did you have a favorite show? I know my favorite part of the, um, the pirates is... Um, the pirates? The pirate ship. Is my favorite. You mean the fantastic? fantastic? Yes, my favorite part is the pirate ship. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cook up our shrimp because we're going to have shrimp churros. And then while that's cooking, I'm going to... Um, We'll just put some butter in there. We're gonna. I'm just gonna cook it all up so that it's not. Um, so that it's not. Um, what do you call it? Poisoning us. Just in case you forgot oh. what Hannah looks like. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she hasn't been on fun food. Hopefully she'll be with me tomorrow. She might. We, might need some help. We took a picture of her. 
Just in case we lost her, and this is her, her picture. I know, she looks... <laughs> so super enthused. Looks like Daria. She looks like she's so enthused to be at Disneyland. I think it's a posture thing. We have to work on that. It was a posture thing there, for sure. She was giving us the disinterested teenage look. (laughs) Oh, teenage. The teenage years, for sure. Oh, you know, we we checked yesterday, and we didn't see anything, but we'll check again. Maybe we'll try Oh, yeah, I went to the the post office box. But thanks. You probably can't see what I'm... I'm just chopping up some garlic to put in there with the... um, To put in there with the shrimp. So I'm going to cook up some shrimp... And then I'm going to make like hamburger rolls, I think, for the cheese. Because we're going to do cheese hamburgers. But the churros are long and round. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to make hot dog looking hamburgers. And make the churro go around it. Really have, this is, I don't know, this is going to be interesting. It is? Yeah, because I don't have, I don't know I'm going to. um... So we we took our beloved churros. And we're going to do interesting things with them tonight. We are going to make, you know what, though? They very well could taste good. I mean, who doesn't like hamburgers? better and better. (laughs) Yep, shrimp churros. It could. Hey, Penguin. We might be on to something because, Uh um, yeah, you know, that peanut butter. going to start a trend right here. Hey, they made that peanut butter and jelly uh, macaroni and cheese at the, um, the Cal- the DCA festival and that sounded disgusting and then that turned out to be one of the more favorite dishes at that festival. So you just never know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rinse these off real quick and then I'm gonna fry it and saute them up. Who am and, uh, so, did anybody? Gave me air I mean, it's not pretty. The we never got to see the Walt Disney World Fantasmic, so I don't know the differences. I know they don't have the ship. I don't think. On the ground while I was high. Right? They don't have the uh I know they don't have the pirate ship. <laughs> so okay, uh oh my thing went off. Alright. So uh-huh. Let's see what's going on. Is that <laughs> our, see, is that my anybody? is that my cooking music? Oh, I don't know. Hey, penguins. Oh, not going. I, did you graduate? Are you graduating this year? Aren't you? I think penguins is graduating this year. Just in case anybody's worried that they got lost, we still have these for a, an upcoming episode of Fun Food Friday. For fun. You Those know, would be the duckheads. Is a four point five in the tuna <laughs> empanada scale. Yes. The tuna empanada is a zero. What's that? Anything above the tuna empanada. Right. Or I guess we could call the tuna tuna empanada a one. What's that? So anyway, I just get this a... is the absolute worst thing we I've ever tasted in my life. What? The tuna empanada? Mm-hmm. Oh, are you saying that or someone else? No, I'm saying that. Oh. Well, alright. I probably need that stuff hot first before I put these in there. Oh, goodness. All right, next time. Oh, you graduate next year. Next year. Oh, okay. Well, this is the important year. I hope you had so a good Derek year. So Derek can have something for good, something good to eat for dinner. <laughs> yes, I agree. Oh. Mr. Willie is on Team Garrett. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Willie. Hey, we have shrimp, so this can be like the backup. Like we'll have extra because I don't know if all the shrimp will um, will go in there. But um, I also have some fun fruits, some like exotic fruits to teach you guys about tonight. would you show tonight. people that? <laughs> What's that? So um, I have um, a couple new fruits. And so yeah, it's like a, a train wreck. It's a train wreck. When I'm out shopping, I like to grab things that I haven't um, seen before. Hold on, turn the music. Hey, are we chopping off my, you're chopping off my chef's pad. Maybe you need to fix the... Fix that. And they can't see what you're doing. Oh, all right. Well, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. Okay. This is kind of country music. That who likes country music in the chat? That's kind of um an acquired. It's kind of an acquired taste, but I personally like country music. Um, I don't listen to it that often because I listen to it more. I listen to my K Love all the time, but um, they got they've got Donald and Daisy. Uh. I'm drowning Michelle out. 
And they got what? Donald and Daisy. I'm sorry, everyone. What's 5TE? Are they talking about something else? I don't know. Negative don't... 2, 0 is Tirav's good. Lower the better. Positive 2, Empadada, bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too many noises at once. So minus. I know Mike's, Mikey, or Mike Cabral says he likes our, they like my our shirt. It's actually our shirt because I just wear Garrett's clothes. So um, thank you. It's, uh, I'm not even sure it's, um, is it one? Is it the one with the costumes when they had the the Halloween costume. the Halloween yep. costumes? But that's her classic costume in the comic comic book. Oh, okay. It's the tuna empanada scale. Um, Maybe we should have the Mister Willie. So we're gonna. Um, uh oh, my chat went off because my. Um, I, I think all kind of, all people can watch can like country music. Is that what they said? I've seen some. Uh, Asian Japanese uh, sushi chefs like country music really? wear a cowboy hat while they're while they're doing sushi yep. while they're cooking sushi. That's pretty funny. Um, I gotta, I gotta. My face here. Fast for no no return, baby, on the summer night. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. <laughs> Start the line and the month I'm not burn like a dried out leaf. I will leave it on the next stream, baby. I does anybody know that? Uh, does anybody know that song? God bless the broken road. Uh, I want to say Rascal Flatts, but I could totally be wrong with that one. It's um. It goes, God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. I tell Garrett all the time. I'm like, oh, that's our song. You know how you have like a song? Oops, you have a song. And yeah, and that's what he goes. He goes, we have a song. And I said, well, we don't really have a song, but um, I said. Yeah, do any of you oh, guys have you, songs Donna. out there? Does I, anybody have? Yeah, do you guys, does any, do any of you have like eight, the, like your song? The um, song. Thank you, Donna. I already got them. I think they're already, um, they're good. I think we, I, they did that for me. Hopefully. I just. Devane them? Yeah. She said Devane. She yeah. said Devane them, but it, I think they're done because they got a, they have a slit thank down you, the Donna. middle. Um, and I'm probably supposed to cook them with a the tail on, but I got to stuff them in the churro and I don't think that's going to taste very good if they're crunchy. So I'm taking the, I'm taking the outside off. So hopefully that's, um, there we go. Now we're live. Um, you have two songs. What are your songs? Hey Dave. I Hi love Dave. the train. You in, love Dave. the train song, the train song, like the band train, I'm assuming. Um, <laughs> Not a country fan, but love, but some of it's okay, says Carol. Oh, you have three. What are your songs, Rhonda? Did you have bands, too? Carol, what kind of music do you like? Um, I don't like maybe the old country, because a lot of that's kind of twangy, and it sort of reminded me of, like, someone who's depressed and, like, their life um, is a train wreck. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's kind of what... That's not... I don't think that's... Is that it? No, that's a different song. <laughs> that's, Are you echoing? You got your, like... I hear it. Something sounds kind of funny. Yeah. What did you do to it? Nothing. Did I break something? You like country music? Oh, you like new country music. Yeah, me too, Mike. It's a little different than the old stuff, right? Of course, I do like Dolly Parton. I don't know, like, all of her songs, but I just like her singing. Is it fishy? Is this considered country? I don't think this is... When the love will always bend the belt for me. I don't know if that's considered country, honey. Hey, maybe you can find... um. God bless the broken road. I think you did something to my thing. We broke your we broke your speakers. I'll we'll have to look. We'll probably get a copyright. No, we probably we, we always ah, do. We've been getting copyrights. A home pod getting we're never moved gonna about. Get a, oh, we're a not home gonna pod? get our twenty. Probably. Cents. Let me see. I'm a child of the '80s, so a lot of hair. Oh yeah, the metal bands. So, like I was saying, do? I'm gonna go see this band tomorrow night called. I've never heard of them before, but they're called uh, Steel Horse, like Don Bon Jovi's and a Steel Horse I Ride. So you can come with me at one o'clock tomorrow. 
and see them live. It's gonna be a, a like art a and wine festival. No, what did I this do? This isn't. I don't think this is country. Is this? This no, isn't. No, this isn't country. We just oh, stopped. Thought we were yeah, on the country. I thought so we were on the country kick. On it. <laughs> God. Okay, let's get this thing going here. Holy Toledo! All right, my shrimp. What happened to my thing? I'm gonna cook one of the one of these with a, with a shell on. I just know it because I'm trying to hurry. Mm hmm. I said I'm gonna cook one of these with a shell on. I know it because it doesn't. And if you guys are worried that we're gonna be here till like midnight, don't worry because um, it doesn't take long to actually make the churro. Mm -hmm. um, you, you just oh, uh, you just make the batter and stick it, it in. Disappeared. So I think we're okay with you time. Do? I just want and you know the shrimp cooks up in like ten like five minutes. It'll be this will be all done and then all we got to do is make the tuna salad. That takes like five minutes, and then I can teach you all about my exotic fruit. I love pretty mu much all music. Donna likes all. Let's oh. see. Jonathan likes country pop. Yeah, I like Gra country. I grew up on rock and Motown. Rock and Motown. Who said that? Rock and... Oh, uh, Brittany says... I'm an early boy groups. <laughs> I have friends and I have... Oh, okay. I know that one. <laughs> Got friends in low places. Okay. Gonna rinse this off. Oh, I keep finding, I keep finding more shrimp. With My song is "I Love Friends in Low Places." I got friends and in I low like places. Wanted dead or alive. I know that one. <laughs> okay, I think I got all the. Sh I think I got all I the feel shells off now. like you off did now. something to my music. Oh man. It. My sound over there. What did you do to my sound? Sounds. Uh oh. Mm. I feel like you changed something. It's all right. I might have just... It sounds hollowy. Yeah, it does sound... Like... What did you do to it? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't touch it. That's okay. I guess there's not going to be a dance party then. What? Okay. There we go. Hmm. All right. So we're going to get this... Put this in the pan. Get my pan on. Do, 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 do. I don't, I'm not like a shrimp cooker, so I'm just going to stick it in there with some butter and some garlic and, and, uh, that should, that's going to be, that's going to be that. Now I'm going to roll up my, uh, I'll get my hamburg patties ready. Oh, penguins likes doo-wop oldies. Doo-wop oldies. Interesting. Oh, nice. Okay. So we got our, we got our butter going here. And then I'm going to show you what these hey, little. penguins, you did bad, gonna, right? Show you these did, fun, later. We'll do these later. Did you do other things in high school? And Daniel, what are you doing in high school nowadays? I thought you were gonna play baseball or something like that. I thought you were playing um, baseball. All right, right. let's see. Doo-wop. Um, define long. <laughs> Jonathan's like, define long. Okay, now hopefully I remembered what um, everybody said about that, uh, about the piping bag, because I have to stick it uh, I can't remember if I stick it at home. This is going to be interesting. All right. Then we got to put our oil in there. I don't need that yet. And then this, that's like a whole nother, that's like a whole nother thing, um, that I'm going to do. And to be honest, I'm going to do that right now after I get my, while my shrimp is cooking. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this real quick while that's cooking. Um, this is like a bonus, but it takes a little while. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you, you did something. Oh, oh my, my butter's gosh. burning. Okay, hang on. <laughs> All right. All right. It's gonna be troubleshooting. I think I got that. Rhonda, ACDC was high school tunes for me. Oh, there we go, Beastie well, Boys, what? and then we got some hip hop. Hmm? Ooh, Ken is a hip hop. One point, I wanted to learn all the drum parts of ACDC. Ken, can you dance hip hop? Oh, Backstreet Boys. Mm. Cool. Who are all good about... dancers out there? Oh, Marillion. I mean, I don't even know who Marillion is, Rhonda. I know Night Ranger though. I remember Night Ranger. I don't remember that other. I don't remember that other band. Oh, I better turn, turn on my. I better turn on my fan. We're gonna have a stinky. We're gonna have a stinky kitchen. Okay. So, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put that over there. Um, I'm gonna put the garlic in there. 
and I'm just going to saute these shrimp up. Like I said, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, I got butter in there, so we're cooking that up. And in the meantime, I'm going to put some water in here. Water, water, water. Okay, what I have over here while these are cooking is, does anybody know what this is? It's a fruit. It's a fruit. It looks kind of like a pear. It's called a, I'm probably not even saying it right, quince or a quince, quince. It was, it's from Chile. So I picked it up at the, the store because I thought it was interesting. Um, Oh, dish, the pish mode passed away. You're going to get a little older, fruit huh? lesson while we cook. No, these days I listen to a lot of pop right? and 80s and so, early 90s mixed in. Oh, okay. So it's called... Oh, it's called Beastie Boy was on a it's lot spelled, of hanging out. It's spelled Q-U-I-N-C-E and it's Apple from pear. Chile. Yes, it's from Apple Chile. Pear. Let's see. You not heard that. Apple pear. Can't. Yeah, Don, Donna knows what it is. I've never heard of it before. Um, so we were going to try it tonight, but I thought I better just check and see like how I'm supposed to eat this, which is a good thing because apparently you don't eat this one raw. Um, it's got uh, it's a sour astringent flavor, it says, um, and it's tough and grainy flesh and leathery skin, but it tastes like a pear apple citrusy flavor, um, but you're supposed to cook it. So it's native to Asia and the Mediterranean, but it has antioxidants and flavonoids. Oh. So I'm going to chop it up. And uh, actually, I'm probably going to peel it first. And then we're going to um, just kind of boil it. And we're going to make something called, we're going to make membrillo, which is um, one of the most popular snacks in Spain. So, but it takes like an hour to cook it. So I'm going to just let that cook while we're, and I only got one. I probably should have got more, but I didn't know what it was. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so you just, um, you kind of make a paste. It's called, it's called a, a paste, and they serve it with cheese. So it'll be interesting. All right, so I'm stirring my shrimp. All right, those are cooking. I'm going to try and peel this real quick. Putting my boogie shoes on. And then we're going to peel this off. I'm assuming, Donna, since you know what this is, you've probably made it before. Um, you would just bought a pair. No, supposedly it's like really good, so you can make it into like um, so you um, it you kind of make it into uh, not like a uh, what do you call it um, a, a jelly, but it's not jelly, a jam jelly. What's that? A marmalade or something like that, and then you um conserve it, but it's gonna be sweet because you add sugar, so um, it's kind of like making applesauce and then adding sugar so I'm curious to see and I thought well that'll be kind of fun I'll just put it on the stove and then um, I have another fruit that's much easier to eat um, if I'm not burning my shrimp Garrett knows when they're cooked I always have to ask him because he doesn't want to get poisoned like I can cook it but then I never know when it's finished so I know they're supposed to curl up which they're doing so that's good. We're getting we're we're getting we're getting closer. So um, yeah, this kind of just smells like it. Kind of just it doesn't smell like anything. This other fruit smells like a flower. This is the other one we're going to talk about. I think it's fizua. This is a oh he's are you am I covered? Oh sorry. It's a fizua. So we're going to eat that later. I think that's going to be more like a kiwi. But uh, it's always it's fun food Friday, so we're going to try these um, fun new foods that I don't know anything about. Do these shrimp look like they're cooked? Garrett? Oh. No, I don't think they're cooked yet. We'll just make sure they're, we'll just make sure they're extra cooked. I'm going to add a little more butter just to make it taste better. There we go. All right. Add a little more. Add a little more butter. 
I think they're almost done, but I just want to, I want to just give them a little extra, okay? So, you can see, you can tell me, but they'll probably get cooked when we make the churro because they're going to be deep fried again. But uh, we'll just let them go while I finish this. And then I got to get this water going back here so that I can put this in there. I'm just going to chop the little squares up and stick it in there and let it simmer for a little bit. Oops, almost caught my finger. If in doubt, add butter. Oh, they're done. They're saying, they're all telling me the shrimp's done. Okay. All right, we'll just move them over here. I'm going to put them in a bowl. Because I need my pan for the, I need my pan for the meat. Okay. They'll probably keep cooking anyway. People are giving you instructions. They are? Well, I'm troubleshooting. And we're an old-fashioned home remedy of some stuff. Do you know? Yeah, they're very old. Um, I think they date back to Rome. So um, they they were um, used, you know, for medicinal purposes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, I was looking at the research on them. So they did use them... Um, you know, for health too. And again, Spain, that's like one of their most popular snacks. It's called um, mem Membrillo, which is this quince paste. Um, but I have no idea, no idea what it tastes like. I'm just trying to clean this pan out. Hang on. Oh, kind of shrunky. Okay. Cause I need the pan for my next, next project. You do? Huh? They are like ginger. Hmm. They're like what? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make our hamburger. But I'm going to make like hamburger rolls is what I'm going to do as soon as I uh, get this peeled off and chopped up. Shouldn't take me much longer. Um, so it'll be it'll be interesting. And it's kind of like lopsided, so I don't know how I'm gonna get the how I'm gonna get the core out because it's not exactly uh, it's not exactly square. So okay. So let's see if it looks like let's okay. So it kind of goes this way. Oh, it's like really hard to it's really hard to cut open. So that's what it looks like. On the inside, you can see, kind of like a, kind of like a pear. And I'm just gonna make uh, squares and get the um, kind of the inside out. It's very hard to cut, like super hard to cut. Not like an apple. It's. I don't know if you can see how hard it is for me to cut this thing, <laughs> which explains why you have to let it kind of soften up for a while. Interesting. Hang on, I'm gonna check the chat. It's like, I feel like I need a saw. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be that hard. That explains why you don't eat this thing raw. Mm. For nausea and digestive problems. Yes, thank you, Donna. Um, so yeah, I know they used it um, to treat things. And again, it also has, um, yeah, that's what I had written down. Like it's an anti, it could be like anti-nausea, but... Again, it's a very odd texture, so, um, but it might it might be something that tastes good when we get finished. So if we're all still <laughs> I around, I always think you're gonna chop your fingers. I, you know why I this is very, very hard to um, cut. So I'm gonna put this in my boiling water. 
and then we're going to puree it and then you double the sugar so then you, you double that so you just kind of cook it for like 30 minutes and um i know i'm getting a little this isn't <laughs> holy moly okay we just top it up fast toss it in there good thing i only got one of these okay okay it's very very much not like an apple holy cow I'm gonna cut away from my fingers <laughs> What is this thing? It's like... There we go. Holy moly. I hope it doesn't taste as same as like... I hope it doesn't taste as tough as it is to cut it. Because that wouldn't taste very good. Alright. That's, that's, that's all the parts. And then I said to stick one of these um, star and these kind of, um, you know, like that clove. Uh, what is it? Reminds <laughs> me of black licorice. To yes, stick I could that have used the drill press. With it. Hi, Russ. To give it a little flavor. <laughs> hey, Russ, welcome in. I think I said hi. Or at least I saw you and a sharper earlier. knife would help. Okay. Yep. So. Ru Russ is gonna... right about both of those things. What? Uh oh, I, I got this pan still on. That's not what I wanted to do. It's like smoking. There's nothing in there. Okay. <laughs> so. Now we're going to... Um, There's usually something burning around here. We're, it's smoking. Okay, so now we're going to make the hot hamburger rolls, the impossible burger cheeseburger rolls. And I have an idea. I have a plan. You want to know my plan? Well, what is your, what is your plan? I have, a, I have a plan. But I think first I need to chop up the... Non -meat Welcome stuff. in, everybody. Hey, Jeanette. Well, you know, I Jeanette's say, is, is it Welcome Jeanette's in. birthday? Is it Jeanette's birthday? Is it your birthday, Jeanette? I want to say it's Jeanette's birthday. All right, well, we have our banner ready if, if, uh, if it's time to sing you a birthday song. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just cut up some onion for the tuna part. All I can think of. And then I got Impossible. My, we got our. Roll. We got our. We got our cheeseburger. All right, we got our cheeseburgers. <laughs> Oopsies. Um. Alright. So here's my here's the stuff for the tuna salad. So I'm going to just chop this, I'm just going to chop up some celery here quickly. We'll just chop up a little. You're going to chop up? We'll chop up. I don't know how deep fried celery is going to taste, but we're just going to go with that. Mm -hmm. That was, I guess, because celery, celery goes in the, uh, celery goes in the tuna salad. So we're going to do, make a little tuna salad. I don't really like celery too much, but. If I chop it up small, maybe we won't taste it. All right, so put some celery. Put some celery, and then we'll put a little red onion. Like tuna salad. Um, let me see. That should be... Why is it strange? I that should be enough. To make so, me hungry. Is it me? <laughs> then... Think that's enough? <laughs> it's only one can of tuna. Freaky, come what? on. <laughs> What's he saying? What oh, I was saying? just looking at an old chat. I was oh, flacky back. Churros are named after the churro sheep because that's the shape they are. I was looking are. back at really? old chat. I never even wondered, like, it's kind of funny because I never really wondered, like, where the name churro came from, but that's interesting. Oh, if that's, that's cool. true. Um, so this is birthday. supposedly a Disneyland churro recipe. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's true. You know, you nope, see them it was on the thirty first. Uh, it was last week. Oh, did we, did we I think we might have sang to her. 
We did? It's hard. We might have. Um, I know, on the I'm 31st. Forgetting. Well, we were. No. Were we in Disneyland, though? We sang happy birthday to somebody while we were in Disneyland, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but if we missed you, we'll sing you happy birthday. Um, Unless she doesn't want it. Unless it, we hurt her ears. Oh, it'll make the oil splatter. Well, you know, <laughs> I, it's going to be inside the churro, hopefully. But thank you. She says, be careful with the celery in the hot oil. And she's not really a crab. So, I um, found that out. So that's a good, uh, good to know. Oh, my goodness. The question is... Ooh, All right, so what I'm going to do next, so this is, I'm just getting ready for our tuna salad stuff over here. Um, and then what I'm going to do now, maybe I'll just put a, I don't need, I don't need this. You know what I need is, um, what I need is some. It was low key. This. But this committee all saying happy birthday was amazing. Be careful if you fry celery yeah, because the water she's, content. She's worried. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. So what I don't want to. Um, Michelle's I'm, good at burning. It's gonna be hopefully contained things. inside the churro. But um, if anybody has any ideas how to get my, the food inside the churro, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the stuffing, and then I'm gonna pipe the churro around it. Does it sound better now? Yes. That's my plan. It's my plan. I'm sticking to it. You guys, don't forget to bop that Dan, thumbs up. Dan, welcome in, Dan. For us. Let's see. Disney Worlders. Dan is here. Hello, hello. I have a short memory. I'm kind of on a hat kick now. I want all kind of Disney hats. All right. I got this because it was on sale. And it's impossible. It's gonna be an impossible burger churro. <laughs> I don't even know if this meat cooks the same. So. Hey Debbie. I got a plan. All right, here's my plan. Oh look, they like already have these little Okay. Dan wants some cheeseburger egg rolls. Okay. Why, I'm not going to make super long churros. I know. I'm not going to make super that long a, churros. I mean, they I might keep, have to be Mr. fat Willie, churros. Mr. Willie, you are so right. So, okay, here's my, here's my plan. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay. You know, even though this is kind of a woman song. It's a woman song? This was so much like Harold and Kumar. Well, it just like, even gets dudes Why like. Why you lock yourself up in you know, first you're like, I don't listen to this music. Open, open, open. <laughs> yeah, just like if you had two dudes in the car and you played this, they would start like rocking out to this. But they would never do this if people were watching. <laughs> okay, don't do, don't do what I'm doing. Back. All right. I know. Even Mike Cabral, I can tell, is, is like tapping his foot. Right, Diana? Big what Mr. Rock happen? Cabral. I gotta check the chat. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not sure. We'll try both ways. Well, maybe we'll try Donna's way and then we'll try this way. How long has that been cooking? I 
better put a timer You did, of course, and I hate to tell oh, you, crab is one of my way. favorite foods. And crab is one of my favorite fruit foods. Crab? In melted garlic All butter. Right, so Just dip it in that melted garlic yeah, I'm butter. Yeah, wondering. And Dungeness crab. Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm is making the stuffing for. first. So Not one top. <laughs> I thought maybe if I make like these... Um, Maybe if I make like these um, cheeseburger rolls, like this, see? I'll make these little. I can see Jeff singing this. Make these little cheeseburger rolls. Hold on for one more day. They're probably gonna be burnt. I was gonna try and get the cheese on the inside, but I don't think that's gonna work. All right. All right. There's one. interesting I just am afraid these are gonna like fall apart because it's like impossible meat but we'll see let's see let's see if this works it's like do you guys remember when we did the Korean corn dogs it's kind of the same thing like they they were they 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 was like different coatings not different stuffing so this will be this will be interesting. This seems like this should be round. This is like oh, a triangle. Wrong with Jeff's head. What's wrong oh, with hey, this? Matt. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. It's like a little hot dog. Just stuff that in hey, the Hey, Matt. Chair. I hope you guys are still having fun out in Disney World. Hey, Matt. Welcome in. Okay. All, All right. Matt. There we go. They're like they're like hamburger logs. All right. I don't know how you tell when this stuff is cooked, but okay, here it goes. <laughs> All right, this is the the shrimp. The shrimp is um, cooked. I just got to chop that up, and uh, we'll see. Let's see. Oh, harmonious! I think Jeff likes that. Oh, we do have. I don't know if they're food safe. We have those like rubber gloves from Costco. Maybe that. Good idea. Am I doing like unsafe? Maybe I'm being unsafe with the food. No one's ever gonna want to come over and eat here. Okay. Those are cooking. I don't think I need the rest of these. I think four is good. I don't know what to do with that. We'll just kind of we'll just wrap that up. We'll keep that. Then we got to do our shrimp. Put this back. Something is 
probably burning. They're totally stuck on the fan. I need goggles. Part of it flew over the rest of the art to the. We need to. We need to collect. <laughs> what is stuck there. on the pan? The shrimp? There we go. Hannah, I mean, uh, Hannah. <laughs> Pam wants to know. Is something What's stuck that? On the, on, the, on the pan? Is What's the on the shrimp? pan? No, the, the hamburger. I'm making like the hamburger. Uh, I'm trying to make the hamburger, well, the impossible burger thing. To put inside the churro. That's like the cheesy thing. It's like the cheeseburger bits. All right, so then I'm gonna chop up the shrimp over here. Now I'm gonna get my board back because this didn't this didn't have shrimp. This had other stuff on it. Um, well, there goes that right. pan. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> no, I, I think, think Aaron needs to have fun tonight. I think Rachel, be okay. I would have more fun if the Warriors had won. All right. Let's I see. am in a sour mood since they've lost, but I am actually starting to snap out of it. I still see a little pink. Alright. Flip it one more time. Alright. Are you guys having good. a great time at at Disney World, Matt? You, Kenzie, Billy, and Tracy? Okay. I'm trying to flip I'm trying to trying to Flip them open. It's like breaking apart. It's all right. They'll just be crunchy. It's all good. Was there oil in the pan before the meat went in? Yeah, but this isn't really meat. This is that impossible stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really yeah, cook. Yeah, we're using impossible meat. It doesn't really meat. cook the same way. Plus, I added cheese. We like uh, we like to take the challenge. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's uh, oil in there. So. It's all right. They're they're kind of they're kind of flipping. I'll just let it cook for another second. We're gonna chop up some of this shrimp. I think I did. I clean this off. It only had um, fruit on it, but just rinse it off. Hey Russ, when's the next time you guys are heading right. out to uh, you and Mike? You guys have become the so dynamic the duel over there. I wonder if I should. Maybe not chop the shrimp up little. What do you think? Or should I just put them inside the churro dough? I don't know. Maybe I should chop them up little. What do you guys think? Um, you can't feel your legs anymore. I gotta make new okay. ones. I think, that, I think this stuff is done. I, I gotta start making new so ones. We're gonna put this I can't feel my legs anymore. We're oh put no. This over there. <laughs> I'm gonna get my oil going. Uh oh. With my new oil thermometer. What are they doing to you, Matt? <laughs> All right, let's get our oil going here. That. And I think those burgers are done. Oh, I got those. So I'm gonna pour my oil in here, so we don't. Uh... All right. I don't know how much we need. Has to cover the churro, I'm assuming. I'll just put the whole jug in there. Let's see if I have this one while All we're right. doing this. While she's cooking. So we'll get that going. But I think I need another pan because I think I gotta cook the churro stuff. So I was gonna chop this up. Little. Okay, so 
Oh, awesome. That's done. I got the Oh, we need our tuna. We're, we can We are going to go to Epcot. Look. Now, I think I might use Donna's method with oh, the tuna salad. Oh, that's right, Russ. Are you feeling better? I think I read some posts. I hope you're you know feeling what? better, Russ. I'm going to use Donna's ah. method with the tuna salad. I think Russ had, had what um, oh, Hannah, had? Hannah and Gabe had. They uh -oh. had like a sinus thing going on. Ah, I hope you feel better. I've been at the parks open to okay. close on the So we got day. our stuff chopped up for our the tuna because oh, we're going to stuff tuna let me inside tell our you, churros. Let it's me tell you, Matt. tuna salad churro. We're not going to use that. It, it's got, if stuff. you're around, a lot of people love Disney. That That's what it is. You got to get, <laughs> you're right. going to, you're going to find out. There it's we go. Just, this will be It's almost like shop to your drop. We got our, our tuna. You're going to have to go home and have a couple of days rest. Can't have Take fun. Take a day off. Fun Food Friday without tuna. Okay. Oh, anyway. All right, so my oil is getting warmer. I need to get more. You know, this could be like um. What? I gotta talk to Ecam and have you know so I can swing the arms and legs. So you can what? I guess I could you know uh, chop oh. a, chop it is up. Is Jeff helping me? <laughs> I could do something. There's not much to drain. Looks like cat food. All right. There we go. Tuna salad. You can see what's happening. Tuna. I think, Don, I'm going to use your idea and stuff this inside the churro. Doesn't this sound like it might taste good, actually? Just throwing it out there that I think there's a possibility that this might actually taste good. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, now I gotta make the churros. Look at that. We've only been here an hour. The churros I think you could whip up real fast. Who else was sick? Was Mike sick? I saw Jeanette saying she hopes Russ and Mike feel better. Was I didn't see. I'm um, sorry if you were sick too, Mike. I put some pepper. the churro. Alright. I got my tuna. I got my cheeseburgers. Stuck. We're still stuck in there. There's our cheeseburger filling. It's a little brown. It's okay. It's good. Let's see? Not too bad. How's it tasting? It's okay. A little crunchy. Oh, okay. Oh, is Pam feeling kind of sick too? That's impossible. Everybody not feeling well. Oh, Pam, I hope you feel better. Okay. So there, we got that. Now I have to figure out how to make the churros. I guess I just decided to take a whole bunch of copyright claims. Uh -oh. Hopefully it doesn't pull the string down. Um, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there was there was oil in there, Donna. <laughs> there was oil in the pan. And it, it you know what, it, I don't know if it was the cheese, because I put a lot of cheese like in the meat, and I think it was the cheese getting crisped up. Okay, mm. so, when someone, it could, <laughs> Oh, he's yeah, in quarantine. Wait, Mikey's in quarantine? Was he around somebody? Oh. Was he around somebody? We've been getting like all that stuff all the time. It's like, oh well, driving us nuts. <laughs> okay, now I gotta make my churro. So hang on. Oh, 
Disney recipe, so a cup of water. Kyle, welcome in. Let's time how fast I can make it churro. Let's start the clock. All right, I just started the clock. I had roast for dinner. We'll see how long it takes me to get an actual churro. Like from start to finish. We can take bets. In the chat. What was in the basil spring rolls, Rhonda? Oh, All right. Spring rolls. So it's good. like a pack of butter. That's Your always good. Dinner, Rhonda. Oh yeah, meat. Pack of butter. Yeah, Diane, I hear that. I think the YouTube police are going to come and get you. Please. I think I'm okay Please. as long as I don't, I don't put a collage out salt there. Salt. They don't like and collages cinnamon. and movies at the same time. And salt. They think I'm doing a fishing scheme. You know, we know I don't do anything crooked. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Let me push the line. All right, let's see what are we what are we going into? I got I got to get different costumes for. Oh, that's a lot of salt. For I Jeff. used unsalted. I used unsalted butter, so we think we should be good with that. I'm gonna have to. So then, hey, Tony, welcome in, Tony. Um. I gotta get. Hey, Tony. All right, so salt. What was that? Okay, we'll put. We'll put Jeff over here for a little a bit. A quarter teaspoon in cinnamon and salt. And a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Meanwhile, my uh, quince is over there cooking, simmering, so that's going to be done here in a second. Then we'll... Let's see we'll, what we got here. I'm going to have to start doing the other step to that. Let's see. Let's see what we got next. All right, here. I got a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Hey, Carl. That's going into the churro. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl. <laughs> Cheeseburger churros. <laughs> Cheeseburger churros. Shrimp churros. Oh, we're crying. Now they're making us. Disney is going to be coming to us <laughs> for all these great recipe ideas. You'd be like, we heard it on Monarch Moment. I don't Not know much about of my that. Oil. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Carl, for the super chat. Oh, thank you. Let me check over here. That was awesome. Thank you. Carl, do you have a request? Oh. <laughs> Disneyland came on with cheeseburger churros. They <laughs> uh, all right, let me see. It's gonna be cheeseburger, shrimp, and tuna. Okay. So the oil is getting hotter, so I'm gonna turn that down. This Oh, what did that where did that? I come need to from? get the batter going. So now we Sorry. need to uh, that one wasn't supposed to go on there. That wasn't. I don't know why it just did did You're gonna get us like kicked off before I even get my turtles cooked. Oh my gosh. So 
Give it up. Give me all your cash. Give me need, all your I money. I need my flower. Give me all your money. Hold on. Because I am Dora Bob. Dora. Okay. I really don't want you to watch your money. I'm gonna get rid of all your annual passes. <laughs> Buy Genie Plus. Buy Genie Plus and Lightning okay, that's Lane. Alright. I might need to make two batches of churros. We'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Uh, bring it to a boil, please. Okay. And then I need eggs. Give it up. Give me all your money, money, money. This is the Disney you were grew up with. This is hey. my Disney. I need three eggs. That's lucky. The fruit. What's the fruit? That. Oh, we have to puree it. Puree something? Or just chop it? I should put it in my other thing. Maybe I'll put it in my other one. I'm gonna put it in my other one. I have to puree that, um, those apple things. I can't say. I gotta, I gotta puree that. So, I'm gonna do that over here. see here now where are we oh okay, okay. thank you Dora Bob so this, Dora so Bob Dora. just wants you to give it up give it all give up, it up baby, give it all up I guess we're never going to be a Disney sponsor right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. all right so I'm going to scoop these guys out what your passes don't work anymore <laughs> Right, I'm That's alright, glad they don't watch I us. gotta puree this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a little of this water. Hope I don't melt my pot. Anyways. And then put a little bit of that water in there. Okay. Then. Oh, anyway. I gotta puree that and then add sugar. Uh, okay. Carl Hold said, on. can you put Bob in the puree? I would like um, to, but hang he's on. just a virtual you image. Might have to plug their ears Dora for Bob. A Oh, play their ears for just well, a I can play a... Tell me when you're ready.
smoking. Good lord, that was loud. <laughs> oh my god. It was gosh. like smoking. Now I gotta add equal parts of sugar. So I need to add, I need to get this up to, this is five. I gotta get it up to 10 ounces with sugar. So hang on. I need five ounces of sugar. Five ounces of sugar. And then blend. I don't know if I stir the sugar in. Maybe I just stir the sugar in there. Hang on, that was crazy. Yes, that was. I don't, I think I still gotta do, I gotta turn it on again one more time, sorry. Oh, wait. Okay, just <laughs> okay. Oh, she's done. Okay. I think I'm done. I gotta double the, um, maybe I'll put it in here. I think, all right, what's going on here? All right, I'm not starting a fire with the oil. I'm watching it. It's perfect temperature right now. Okay. Okay, the oil's ready. My stuff is almost ready. That's boiling. <laughs> I'm glad you are, Carol. <laughs> all right, this is ready. I need more. I need to make more figures. All right, I got that on. All right, this is ready for my flour. And then this, I just got a stick. I got a lot of things going on here. I don't know how pureed this was. This will be interesting. There's still chunks. Why are there still chunks in there? Chunks? There's still chunks in here. Oh, no. Oh, well. I don't know why there's still chunks. Um, oh well, we're just gonna stick it in here. Okay, I know a good one. I, I'm just gonna stick it. I'm gonna have here. to work on my. All right. I'm gonna put that Let's back in I, here. I gotta, I gotta see if I have that one. Where I can see it? what I'm doing. I gotta put this back in the pan and then add sugar. So we're gonna make like a, uh, this is that fruit, the quinsay that you can't eat raw. It's got lots of health benefits, except it's supposed to be a puree. There's still chunks in there. I didn't puree it very well. Maybe after it cooks longer. Let me see, let me see. I gotta, I gotta find the And then right I need like five ounces of- um, We got a special one on, so hold on. I'm watching this see. oil. I don't want to catch the. No, I don't want to catch the mm. kitchen on fire. I gotta have. I gotta have the right one here. Where so, trying to keep that oil, because we're gonna be ready for my the churro in a second here. Okay, this was oh. just a bonus. Okay. <laughs> Five ounces of sugar. This is for Angela. Oh, was good. Okay. Equal, equal part. Oh, jeez. I'm losing my appetite now. What are you doing? For Angela. Okay. That I just have to simmer. going on <laughs> um <I'm> sorry <laughs> add flowers stir vigorously jeff and i really are friends <laughs> all right i'm supposed to stir 
My flower all clumped up into chunks of flower. Just to stir vigorously. Alright. Now what does it say? Stir vigorously. Remove and let set for five minutes in a ball. It's supposed to form a ball. That's good. It looks like a ball. Alright. Let it rest for five minutes. All right. Let it rest. Five minutes. That kind of brings a tear to my eye. Oh, let me see. They're all gonna fall asleep. Okay, so I got my oil. My oil's ready to go. I'm trying to make sure it's not too hot so I don't catch the kitchen on fire. That's like the last thing we need. Um, that's resting for five minutes. The other stuff is gonna simmer for an hour, but. That's just for fun. It was like an extra bonus thing. Um, simmer until orange and it pulls away. So that's pretty easy. That thing just has to simmer. Right. Now, then I'm going to add eggs into this mix here in a second. <laughs> I like how I, Michelle just goes on and on. Hang on. Add eggs one at a time. I didn't print the rest of the recipe. You're resting. Hasselhoff. All right, so I got my eggs. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get the churros. So once I get the dough, I'm going to put the churros in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to put the churros in the oven. My oil is ready to go. This one I think we're going to stuff inside the churros after we like deep fry it, like Donna said. That was a good idea. We might have to pipe it in with a bag. Maybe I'll stick this in a bag. Maybe I'll do a bag for this too. the hole big enough. That the ingredients fit. Alright. This is going to be for my 
What are you tuna. doing? Tuna. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is going to be for my tuna. I think I'm going to try and put the tuna and squeeze it inside the churro, like Donna had si sort of suggested. So that's what I'm going to try. Oh. Um, oh, Instagram. Hey, Thank Debbie. You. Let's see if I, you know, I okay. really and pay attention here. I still don't understand what I'm supposed to do with, the, with this. Do I put the bag inside the tip or do I put the tip inside the bag? I know I got to cut the bag. I'm thinking it goes this way. Let's do that. Cut it like the tip. All right. Like this. I'm going to cut it right there. I got to go check the Instagram. All right. I'm cutting it there. Oh my gosh. And then I think. Hey, Alex. Let's see if we missed any chat here. I don't know if this Welcome is. In, Alex. I don't know if it goes Linda. in or out. Hello, I think it's got to go inside the bag. Us. Let me see. Put the tip inside the bag and tip then cut. The oh, all right. It. Oh, okay. Well, that's not going to work. Debbie, want, Debbie shared a picture of us. Oh, she did? Hang on. Yes. I'm trying to um, make sure I'm not burning my hey, other Debbie. thing. There's Debbie. Oh, cool. Say hi to Debbie. Hi. I like your picture. You love and it when you guys share with us. I guess, are you going to Cedar Point tomorrow, Tony? Well, yeah, I think I'm going to have to put it on the outside, huh? You could throw a link in there, Tony. In the chat, if you put like. the tip inside the bag and then cut. Okay, stop thinking. Let's see. All right, let's now, where see. Where were we? The tip inside the bag. Everybody says the tip goes inside the bag, but oh, I know. I gotta cut. That's I got the wrong it. I got tip it. For a bag, but it should work. I Just got it. We go so like we go like out. this. And you got an alarm going off. There we go. There we uh oh. Uh oh. What there happened? we go, Tony. You All might right. want to tell them where you go are going, Tony, with the link. That way they'll understand the what the link's to. There we go. I got it. Look at that. It's totally gonna work. Ooh, yes, totally. To oh, you know, and you know how I'm gonna keep it on there? Check this out. There we go. Wait. Oh wait, well that's not working, but it's okay. Like it's an pretty. idea. It's not screwing into anything. Sorry, right. it's okay. Hang on. What's the timer? Now I gotta put eggs. Wait, oh. Okay, my oil's that good. Where's the one I found the other day? Hang on. I think we're ready oh, to do churros. I found one the other day. I might do a test run. Oh, I'm going to put it in here. Okay, let's see. I did not do a good job pureeing this, um, this, I didn't do, a, I didn't do a good job, like, pureeing this fruit thing. But it's got to cook for like another hour. I'm just trying to mush it down like um, like mashed potatoes and see if that helps. It smells interesting. I had that like black licorice star anise in there, which I'm not sure if I like that flavor. Maybe I do something different. Maybe next time I use cinnamon. Okay, so now I got to put three eggs in what does this say? Holy moly. All right. 
not her. I'm singing There's Tony. Tony's gonna. Okay. Let me see. You gotta be a special lady. Okay. Okay. There's my churro dough. To change my gray skies to blue. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. Left did out. you read? Did you read Donna's last comment? No. What'd she say? <laughs> she says, "Oh dear, that doesn't look quite right." <laughs> nope, it doesn't. If, maybe if I keep mixing it, it'll it'll get mixed together. That's I've totally followed the recipe. Oh, just there you go. There just like it said. We'll cover Tracy. I know it didn't look quite. There you go. Oh, and well, Julius and Mom. Hey, you know what? It's super go. doughy, so maybe we could just roll. If anybody was left out, it's a, I, the song only lasted so long. Maybe we could make like donut churros or something. Maybe we could make round churros. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hmm. We'll All do right. something with this. There we go. We might not get as many as we. It's not very. You sent me my big. I didn't see it. I just I just went in there. All right, let's see. 
That's what they. You, you send it to the like, right account. They're all like, "That doesn't look right, Michelle." Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna that? work with what we have. Oh, we're gonna work with. What we're we gonna have. deep fry. We'll just try. Um, <laughs> we'll try one so we could stuff. Rhonda, without the mask. <laughs> Jeez. How Rhonda are we gonna sends do me this? a picture and she has a mask on. How without are we gonna do this? Without the mask, Rhonda. All right, and on top of that, we're gonna have like piping issues. So right. I'm going to try and stick anyway, it through this. They're all special ladies out there. Whether all you're right, here goes, guys. Or not. Good thing we're using the big one. Okay. I'm going to stick the dough in here. Hmm, now where am Our I? Our oil's ready. Our oil's ready to go. I like that song. Let's oh. <laughs> go like that. There we go. There we go. Uh, All right. Where are we now? You might not have a whole bunch of churros. We're having fun food Friday. Thank you for joining us. And we are making special churros. Is there special hey, Hayden, Everett. Super special churros. Add your picture. But All you're right. not a special lady, but you can there send me go. your picture and I will add it to the collection. Right. Now. And if you send me a picture, there is a disclaimer. I, will, I can put it on any body I would like. All right, let's just and use um, it in any form. Let's go like this. Rhonda, send me a picture without the mask. All right, here goes. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze one in here. But you have a cute haircut. I guess I could show that. Nah, you show me. Send me a picture of your face. We don't take. It's like you could. Let's see. Good evening, oh, Hayden. Hello, off. Alex. I like that song too. All right. Well. Let's see. Where are we? Oh my gosh. What are we doing now? Um, how am I gonna get the stuff inside? That is the question. All right, I have an idea. I got. Just so you I know, got a plan. I did get permission from Jeff to show all the images I've shown. I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm glad you have a plan. Watch this. Whoa. Oh, oh. What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's coming, it's coming out the side. Dang. I had a plan. Huh? Shoot. Wait. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Pam said something important. You gotta, you gotta like seal it, right? Before okay. you, I know I for can't. the tuna. Not Maybe you I'll can't do it. that with the tuna, or it will actually be kind of interesting tuna. Hmm. I gotta seal it. Michelle's plan is not working. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. I don't know how hey, we're kid. gonna do that. Welcome um, in. Well, here's the. Everett said he's writing everything uh, down. Writing everything down. All right. I. Okay. Such a mess. Stop 
it. This is so complicated. I think I gotta put it in here. This is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hold it more. Alright. Let's do this. And we have a hamburger, cheeseburger, churro. One churro. I think we're gonna have to like. They're fatter. I need like a fatter hole. Then we're gonna. We'll just like. We're gonna have to. Now, I think we're going to have to <laughs> Okay, that'll be the tester maybe Was I not supposed to put cinnamon? There's cinnamon in the dough. And we have our first mm. cheeseburger churro. Dun -da -da -dum. Cheeseburger churro. We just need some ketchup. Hmm. Should I give it to you? Sure. You want to try it? Ketchup. Yep. Let's try it. Cheeseburger churro. I will try it. I'm okay. down. Hey, downscale. I'm down Hi, for downscale. it. Hi, downscale. All right. We've got our first cheeseburger churro. Now i got to figure out how to get the shrimp. Let me see. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no, it's true. It looks like a hot dog. Yep, love ketchup. It looks like a hot mm. dog. Did you put cinnamon on it? Um, no. Yeah, put some cinnamon they made on la it. They laughed at me when I put, put cinnamon, cinnamon on it. Put cinnamon on it. All right. Yeah, you gotta put some cinnamon. I got that cinnamon over there. No, I got it there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I put cinnamon. There we go. Let's go. There's it's our the churro. Da, 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 cinnamon da, da, da. churro. It's a, it's a impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Impossible, impossible. cheeseburger. Churro. Yes. Ooh, yes. Test it out. Yeah, I got it. Tell me what you think. 
I got like, like Gabe isn't in here wanting one of them. All right, now I got to figure out. Let's see. What can we? What can we play? Okay. Hmm. What are we gonna do with this shrimp? Let's see. I'm gonna try it. Ah! Ah! Scratch through. Um, opens in the bed. <laughs> Down in the middle between the kitchen moves all the other pillows. Mm -hmm. Um, half the lumps. I'm just reading ah, the chat. Ah! A turd burger churro hmm. with that meat center. Well, wow, what's it taste like? It's interesting. Now, the question is, how am I going to get the shrimp into this churro? Hmm. Maybe I have an idea, I have a plan. We're going to do this. I don't know. Does it taste weird? I don't say it tastes bad. All right. It's kind of... Interesting? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this. We're going to put this on here. <clears throat> I don't know. We might have to just... This is going to be... This is going to be... I think I'm not going to be able to pipe them. I think I'm going to have to... Nope. I'm gonna have to roll it like dough. I'm gonna roll it like dough. Hmm. And then I'm gonna cut it open. Hmm. I can't say I hate it. And then I'm gonna put my shrimp parts inside. And then we're gonna seal it up. Here we go. Mm. Sealing it up, my shrimp. This is our shrimp churro. Actually, there's some shrimp um, skin. Mm. That won't taste very good. Okay, mm. there we go. There we go. Yeah. Here's our shrimp churro. Now we just have to make like a design on it. Are you ready? Nothing oh sure, I'll try try the shrimp churl. All right, hang on. I got to I'm gonna stick it in. That, that wasn't bad. It was okay. All right, here it goes. I mean, maybe a better meat. It I would should taste probably. Even better. I gotta. I don't want to like drop this. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, it's falling apart. Hang on. I gotta figure out how to get it in there. I don't want to throw it in because I'm gonna I burn bet you myself. It still still tastes better than. Disney World churros. I've had a Disney World churro. All right, let me see. Whoa, did you just say my churro tasted better than Disney World churros? Yeah, not Disneyland. <laughs> you guys heard that? Holy moly! All right, I'm well, gonna lower it. Disney World I'm gonna churros. lower. See, it's falling apart. In fact, so I they fool them to buy them because they think go. they actually are Disneyland churros. There we go. I gotta up that heat a little. Hey, Stacy. All right, we got the shrimp churro going in. I'm gonna do the same thing with the tuna fish. I'm gonna do the same thing with the tuna. All right, here we go. We're gonna do that with the tuna. The tuna salad. All right, let's go. Let's do that with the tuna salad. I gotta, I gotta flatten it out. There's like a chunk of flour in here. That's a no good. That's a no, no bueno. Okay, here we go. Okay. Put some cheese in there with the tuna. What cheese in there with your tuna salad? Here we go. Our tuna. It's the tuna. Tuna salad churro. gonna like leak out. All right, here goes. All right. 
There's even, there's even cinnamon in the batter. Okay. All right. Here goes the, here goes the tuna salad churro. <laughs> tuna salad churro. No, I did. Good one, downscale. <laughs> we got. All right, let me see. Yeah, Russ, that's what Jonna said. Except, do you see how, this is how big my churros are coming out. So I can't fit something in there. I don't know how to make them fatter. I need like a, um, I need like a big, I have an idea. Here, we'll do another one like this. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. We'll make a big, make a big fat one. And then we'll stuff it. Here we go. There we go. We'll make, we'll make a, I don't want to make it too big because then I'm not going to be able to, all right, like this. And then we'll, we'll try and stuff it. I thought they might poof up. I thought they might poof up when I stuck them in there, but that's not happening. Oh, my other one sunk to the bottom. Uh-oh. What's going on? It's like in a burn. Hmm, what happened? All right, now, I might not know. You might have a surprise churro. I might not know which one is which. They're starting to all look alike. Oh. Is this too fat of a churro? Okay, here hey, we go. um, can someone, uh... Un <laughs> un what? Uh, it's okay, uh... Can someone unhide somebody? I maybe I can. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can't. It's okay, you know. Thanks. That's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. FMX star. That's okay. Yeah, you're. you're uh, that we'll, was. A, we'll, we'll that was a mistake. That. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Thank you. Um. Yeah, that's all right. Thank you, Mo mods. Do you do a great job? Thank you. That. You, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. You probably obviously haven't eaten my food before. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. He's new here, or <laughs> she. Uh, all right, let's see. They joined us last week. All right. So. We've got our shrimp churros coming out. You want a little cinnamon on that? Yeah, that was uh, that was a mistake. Don't worry about that, FM X Star. Sorry, yeah, sorry about yeah. that. Thanks for coming in, by the you're way. You're unhidden. Yes, you're unhidden. The wrong button. Um, some Marvin Gaye playing. All right. Um, so we have our shrimp churro coming up. Then we have our tuna salad churro coming out. Then we're going to have mm, 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 our mm, plain mm, churro, which we're going to do the, gonna the do suggestion that we're going to stuff the tuna salad inside the churro. Okay, here we go. This one looks done. Either that Thanks. or Gert's going to get a big Thanks, raw. Rhonda. He's going to get a big raw churro. So let's see. Let's see how this one works. How do I know when they're done? Maybe I let it cook a little longer. Cause these are kind of fat churros. Oof, cool. These are a little fat. They sunk in oil. <laughs> how did, how did your, um, you, you like the, the meat, the, you like the cheeseburger one? We could do another cheeseburger one. If you like that one. Oh, I want to try the shrimp one. Oh, you you could do that. But I'm gonna make a cheese. I'm gonna make a cheeseburger mm. one for me. It's a cheese. There's cheese and burger in here. It's already cooked, so I don't poison everybody. All right, now they're all like mixing together and looking the same. So I think this is my. Should we break the shrimp one in half so we can see what it looks like? Hmm. Huh? Oh, sure. Okay. Accident. Oh. So I'm sorry about our my the churro. I'm sorry that they, um, <laughs> here's our shrimp. This is our shrimp churro. They don't have the fancy lines on the outside because I don't have anything to pipe it that fat. 
All right, I think they're coming done. All right. I don't think you were. Here you go. <laughs> so I'm going to test this one. This is our shrimp. This is our shrimp churro. Here you go, Garrett. Uh-huh. Let's see if it's raw on the inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, if you hold it too close, they can't see it. Oh, they couldn't see it? That's what the inside looks It's too hot. I can't hold it. Mm. I can't. Oh, there we go. There's the inside. It's the shrimp. Mm. Garrett, Garrett's going to have that one, but mm. I'm going to give it to him with tongs because it's like super hot. Here you go. All right. Here, here, you can put it over here. I'll let it cool off. Sure, give it too hot to me to eat. I'm going to test it. Yeah. Should I put a hot sauce on it? Mm. Yep, a little hot. Can I have a... Uh... Hot sauce? I'd say... That's interesting. I definitely need some kind of sauce. Huh. It needs like... Maybe sweet sauce. Sweet and sour sauce would be good, maybe. What do you think? I don't know I'm going spi to try spicy. Spicy sauce? I think sweet. Oh, I have some sauce. Let's try. Let's try some sweet chili sauce on it. Mm. Let's see how that tastes. Meanwhile, I'm probably mm. burning the other ones. What do we have in there? We got a regular one. Let's put some sweet. We got our sugar. We got our cinnamon sugar. Mm. Not bad. Got cinnamon sugar. And then we got our shrimp mm. in there. I would say it's different. It's not bad. It's unusual. All right. Yeah, now we've bad. got. <laughs> um, dip it. Dip it. Did we say hi to everybody? Hi, Alex. I think we did. Downscale, okay. Alex. Down, downscale we have okay. some new people. Hey, new if you happen to be in the chat, say, say hello. Anything. We'd love to say hi to you. To Talk to you. everybody who comes in. If you oh, feel like it. this must be the one that's got the stuff because I think the... Um... Michelle, who are you? I'm Michelle. She's You're Michelle. watching Monarch Moments. It's a fun <laughs> food Friday. Come back tomorrow because I'm going to be live streaming from the Sunnyvale Art and Wine Festival and there's a band called Steel Horse that plays all Bon Jovi cover songs. So um, I think it's going to be fun. They're going to play for like an hour. I'll take you around the festival. Um, I think it, it, it... I mean, you guys know I'm a, a big, huge John Bon Jovi fan, so... I'm kind of curious. I've never heard of the band before, and then I saw they were playing, and I was like, yes. So, okay, this one I'm going to take out. It's our tuna salad. Tuna salad churro. I might not put... I'm not going to put cinnamon on that one. I can't tell which ones are stuffed and which ones aren't stuffed. I think this has the tuna in it. What are you saying? I think that I can't tell which ones are the stuffed ones and not stuffed. I think this is our tuna. What do you Ooh, want is on that your the tuna? tuna one? Yeah, All do you right. want the tuna? I gotta try the tuna. Do you want the tuna with sugar or no sugar? Sugar. Of sugar. Course. Okay, we'll put some sugar on the tuna one. I'll cut it open just to be sure we got the right one. These are very heavy. This is the one that I've got to stuff. I think this is the tuna one. It's a tuna, sa tuna salad churro. Do 
another Interesting. I'm gonna put that there. This guy we're gonna stuff. Maybe we'll do like half shrimp. We'll stuff it half and half. Because Jess is blinded by the light. He has to wear something what? over his eyes. I'm gonna stuff this one. Stuff that one half and half. <laughs> Don't forget to bop the thumbs up for us. Thank you. Okay, whatever I got left, I'm gonna wrap. Well, all right. We're gonna I can't save. What's that? Did you like the tuna fish? Did churl. you like the tuna? No. It's better than the tuna empanada. It I would say on, if you were starving in the wilderness, this would be fine. It reminds me of tuna casserole. If you like tuna casserole. Oh, it's smoking. It's, it's not bad. I'm if you don't, put some hot sauce on it. If, if you don't like tuna casserole, it tastes just like tuna casserole. Like a tuna. What do you. I don't even know what you go with yep. in tuna casserole. No. Hot sauce helps. Hi, hey, Ben. Okay. So that one, the tuna got cooked. This next one we're gonna do is gonna be cold tuna. So we're making like all different. Hey, Ben. Welcome in. So we're we're doing all different kind of um, we're doing all different kind of um. So this is our cheeseburger. I'm gonna put more cheese on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put cheese on the inside. Let's see how it'll be cheesy. Mm -hmm. Cause I kind of burnt the cheese on the last one. Let's make this one cheesy. So we'll put some cheese on there. Here's our. By our the way, this is Jeff. Cheeseburger churro. And he's dis our dream our and Angela. Channel. And they're right. our partner channel for at least another night until they hear until about they this see like live stream. what's going on. <laughs> and then they go, oh, we don't know them. And right. um, hold on. Here we go. All right. This, this is one. their lovely family. Zach. Ooh. Abby. Angela. Abby. And, of course, Jeff. Here we go. It's working. It's working. There you go. All right. This is our, our partner channel. This is our dream. Check them, Check them out. out tomorrow. Jeff doesn't right. really have a big head. Okay, here goes our cheeseburger churro. Going in, it's going down. Mm -hmm. It's going into the oil. Cheeseburger, it's actually impossible um. burger. Impossible cheeseburger. Hey All Mike, right, here we go. welcome in. All right, so. Hey, backyard science. Hey Mike, welcome in. I was sheep and I went to a Little League Step baseball. Ooh, and you ate a Little Caesars hot Christina. and ready pizza. The cheeseburger How one, was it, I just ben? put a, another one in, the other one, Hi, Christina. I didn't do quite right. I piped. I tried to pipe the churro like around it, and that wasn't working exactly. So this tuna one, it's like a hot. We're gonna do a cold hey, Carl, tuna now. You want some of our tuna churro? How about ask when, Desiree if she would like tuna churros? We can bring them down. I'll cook to you. dinner for you guys. We can bring them down next time we see you guys. Oh no, the Isles Royals get too hot. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We don't want it too hot. You know. And of course there fire. is. It, you know, Don okay. and Will. All right. So that's cooling down. Now we've got to dig the uh, inside bones. out of here. So we're going to stuff this churro. What am I going to dig it Here's out with? Here's Don. A straw. I have just the And there's thing. Will. Will's up in the top. My boba tea straw. Oh, what's that? I'm going to dig On. it out with my... Okay, that's with good. With my boba tea straw. What happened? Why did the light change? I'm going to try. Change? That was weird. Anyway, there's Don and Will and I gotta, Jeff oh, and I Tracy. gotta burrow out a hole. They're the other uh, partner channel. Check them out. For the there are the hitchhiking bones. <gasps> it worked. Oh, I'm way behind on shit. Look at that! It worked, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Pipe the churro. What? Yes, I'm gonna pipe. I'm gonna pipe the churro. 
We're gonna stuff the churro this time. Ooh, and you know what I could do it with? Maybe I could do it with a bag. Where did that bag, I got a bag to do it with. Where did it go? I'd already cut it and everything. I'll just get another one. All right, I'm gonna- Bring on the, Des Here says, bring on the fried food. Oh. Who says that? Des, 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 Desiree. Des, Des says bring on the Des. fried food. I don't know if it's gonna fit through here. We'll try. Well, you know what time it is for now. Okay. It Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're a low budget outfit. <laughs> and I only have one person. All right, I'm gonna try and pipe this into the. I'm trying to pipe this into Put the. An orange clock in here. Because the other tuna was kind of gross. Because it was oh, cooked. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. So if you don't oh, like sorry, cooked tuna, that's the wrong one. You might want to try this version. This is like the cold version. If I could get it in there. We gotta assemble uh, our little cast here. Dang, it's like too small. Wait, 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 wait. What else do we have? Let's try it. Got them. Okay. Here we go, here we go. It's Let's not cooperating with there. me at all. Wouldn't you know dun, it? When everyone's dun, watching. Dun, 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 oh, there we go. Dun, dun. Oh yeah, du, there du, we du, go. Du, 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 du. You Hold gotta on. stuff. Getting it. Get, gotta gotta find somebody. We gotta pipe. I thought I saw Pam. Tuna salad churro. I thought I had Pam here somewhere. With cinnamon sugar. I just right. saw her. Now I'm gonna take our hamburger out because I think the hamburger is. Oh well, I don't know where <laughs> I what I did with my. Oh, there it is. That was the inside of the churro. All right. So. Um, and then this is gonna be shrimp. Okay, we got Pam in there. So. I'm gonna give this to Garrett. I'm taking the other hey, one out because it's burning. We got the shrimp in there. Okay, now I can play it. Okay. Here we go. Now, here's our hamburger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger churro. Shrimp churro coming up.
That didn't work. Let's do it this way. That's not working. This is so hard with a mouse and just one clicker. I need I more I than one people. I thought I could stuff it in there like that, but that's not going to work. Now it's all stuck in my straw. We're going to have to go to plan two. All right. Plan two. That plan did not work at all. Garrett's not going to want this chair, probably. Wow, this is hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah. Spooky Bob. Don't worry, if you come to dinner, I will, not, pineapple. I will not prepare your food Tracy in that Bell. manner. And there we go. Of course, Joe. All right, Garrett. Should I feed this one to Garrett? I didn't even see what you were doing. You didn't so, see what I was doing. Nope, you want didn't this see, one? Missed it. Hey, Amy. <laughs> All right, I'll try this one. This is our this is our shrimp churro. I have the shrimp churro. That wasn't bad. That was okay. I'm not sure you guys would like it. It's all right. Kind of plain. And then here's our che cheeseburger churro. Amy you ready? had some work done on her lately. She just what? she just decided to get a chia beard and became a Washington National fan. And you saw her at the Washington Washington oh. National Park with Pete and the rest of the gang. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's our cheeseburger one. Here it is out of practice with the dancing heads. It's hard. I have like this is going to be good. This is going to be a good one because I put. I cheese. have one little mouse to move them all. This is the cheeseburger I need, one. I need more. melted cheese in there. Can you see it? I could probably only do two heads at a time. Can I didn't you quite have the YMC. Hey, there it going. Here's the cheeseburger one. You're going to like this because I put melted cheese in there. Oh, I thought, didn't you put melted cheese in the other one? The other one was in the burger, and it kind of got, like, super cooked. So you couldn't really see that it wasn't, like, cheesy. I put more cheese in that one. All these taste better with hot sauce. What's that? But you need, um. I, re I recommend a dip. Oh, my stuff is turning pink. Remember that? Look what's happening on my stove on the stove. It's turning pink. Oh, and it's probably turning black. What does that bottom. mean? Because I forgot that I was cooking. Don't ruin my pants. No, I'm, oh no, I'm not ruining your pants. Mm, good. Anyway, do you think I burned it? If you've never it? been to Fun Food Friday, this is Fun Food Friday. I might have burned it. I might have burned it. Maybe I was supposed to stir this. Mm. So, thank you, Amy. Oh, dear. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. Amy may have been at the here. pirate game, but we all know she's a Washington National fan. Okay, so this is that fruit. We were doing fun food fruit too. <laughs> now it looks really bad. What'd you do? Um, I don't know. I might not have screwed it and like you, I was supposed to. We need to, to pay attention. I can't do more than I can't multitask, but it's okay. It smells good. All right, so I can, I still have stuff to make churros. Now I want to know how this I'm this hamburger cheeseburger one. I didn't get to try that, so we're gonna try the cheeseburger one. This shrimp one. It wasn't too bad today, Ben. It was probably in the 70s. It's okay. The one where I cooked the, the, um, cooked the tuna inside tastes like tuna casserole. <laughs> and um, now it's supposed to turn pink. It says um, simmer for an hour until orange and it pulls away. And then put in, it says, or then sprinkle a board with sugar. Spread the paste. Onto the sugar and then add more sugar. So I'm sure it'll taste sugary. Uh, where did our ketchup go? I don't know. Do you guys see the ketchup anywhere? Oh, there it is. Okay, here's the ketchup. I'm gonna eat the um, cheeseburger one. Oh, 
We'll try a little ketchup. And then um, I'm going to make some more churros because I got so, a little bit of churro dough left. Mm. A lot of churro dough. Mm. Oh, that's good. The tuna is... That one's not bad. The cheeseburger churro. It's... And it's an impossible cheeseburger churro, yeah, so it's not even real meat. We have a one, we have a shrimp one, and an impossible hamburger. Impossible cheeseburger. Just for the health. Churro. Not, that's good. Tastes like a, a cheeseburger. This one's pretty good. So I rolled, I cooked it first, and then I rolled the second time I rolled the churro around it. Mmm. So... I would say it's a big thumbs up on the cheeseburger churro. Disney needs to try that. You think so? Uh-huh. I don't know. I would say they need to try it. Hey, they tried the peanut butter and um, jelly yeah, macaroni they cheese. Could. They might do it one day. And it happened here first, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you eat that cheeseburger churro, mm -hmm. you tell them. We saw it on Monarch Moments. Uh-huh. Okay, so my oil They try is to forget our, our channel now. most of the time. What? Is that what you guys are named? What's that? Alright, but I don't think it's been an hour. Oh, yeah, it has been an hour, I think, for this. Okay, so now what I gotta do is. Um, I gotta really work on more of these. What? PNGs. PNGs? Okay. Yeah. So now we gotta do. Um, What's this? Holy cow. Yeah, the well, the peanut butter mac and cheese is actually a really big Just hit for at the, the health, art and I'm pretty the, sure you lose the, the impossible festival. healthiness once you cook. Hey, Elena, it aloha. In cheese and deep fry. No, you actually retain some of that. What's that yes. when you deep fry? Okay, so now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and make. It's I'm gonna like try and make real churros. Mostly, it's only mostly unhealthy. It's kind of like mostly dead, but not really. And all you need is I'm Miracle Max to bring it back here. to life. I saw that in a movie once. I'm making like mini churro bites with our leftover dough. Oh, Jeff's blocking your cooking technique. There you go. All See right. What I'm doing? I'm making a churro with my dough. Ooh, I should make a spiral one. How do I do that? I make a spiral one. Here at Monarch Bowens, we never make fun of our friends. We never what? I said we never make fun of our friends. No, never. Never. All right. Those oh. are cooking up. Now we're going to have some for breakfast. We're just going to have the regular ones. You email me when let me find one. Let me find it. Ooh, okay. Those Did are like churro bites. Me? Or did you mail it to Michelle? If it's getting it hot Michelle, in here. Oh, if you send it to luck. our email. Who emailed us? Well, then you got to forward it to me. Who emailed us? Russ. Oh. If you didn't email it to my PNG. email, oh. good luck. He, you got to oh, forward uh, did, it to Oh, me. did you send it to did me? Did you just turn something on? It's the stove. Oh. It's on. Okay. Um, just big head is in the way. Okay. All right, let me see here. Me? I got too many things going on. Hold on. Moving so Jeff's. what I'm doing is I'm making, I'm just cooking up the rest of the dough. Head. And is that then better? We're, we're making this. Uh, is that better, Christina? Martine. Listen, when Tony and I come out there, Rochelle is not allowed to service anything with tuna in it. <laughs> What's that? What happened? We promise, Martine. Now this, I don't think that this is looking like it's supposed to look like. But we're just going to go with it. We will definitely keep the tuna in the cabinet. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. Use the my yeah, that's uh. All right. Oh, my churros. Hang on, multitasking. Here, I'll put uh. Let me flip those guys. IG you the. Oh, what happened to my IG? Where did it go? Why did it get signed out? Hmm. That's oh, there's like weird stuff floating around in my oil. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's why. Look, why did I get signed up? Here, uh, IG you, Russ, the uh, email you can send it to. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right, we got a regular churro. Do, 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 do. Do, 
Do -do -do -do. Oh, look at that. Ouch. Oh, you should have sent me this earlier. Or told me this. Puppy pictures? They pu are they Mikey's puppy? Oh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> puppy pictures. What? Oh, Wait, said, oh, let me find oh something. God. I gotta I find the right one. Where am pictures. I? Okay, I got Jif. The tissue. Oh, I'm there dipping we go. the churros in the sugar. Where is it? Oh, I gotta put it on this. They're not one. exactly. Um, let me put it in here. They're not exactly straight. Oh, I got. We got a special request for a song. Oh. Not really. I'm just gonna make it up. But there we go. There's Tony and Martine. Oh. Oh, let's see. What are we going to play? Hmm. I'll put them right there. And let's find a song for them. Oh, let's, let's see. see. You guys can slow dance with them at home. It's like, it's like the... Oh, you're like going to play a slow song. It's like a, a junior prom. Oh. Let's see. All right, wait. What am I doing? I got more dough. More dough, more dough. Hey, Carlos, welcome in. Hey, Carlos. Let's ah, we, go. You missed the cheeseburger. Yeah, and I showed you a churro. And Suzanne off a little while ago. All you right. have to rewind. Now I'm just trying to make regular churros. Hey, I mean, Carlos, can I make fun of your, I mean, uh, use your image? <laughs> oh, jeez. Just say no. I got to get a good headshot. Just say no. Can I get a, can I, I get a, can you, uh, you know, right, send me a, a good headshot? Use up the rest you, of the dough. They use more body. Here we anyway, go. Where was I? Oh yeah, I gotta play a My song. My churro for these dough. Guys. Oh, I already played that one. Oh man. All right. Uh, let me see. Oh, my gosh. I gotta push this stuff. I gotta push it back in there so I can get oh, more dough. Oh, here we in go. Here. here we go. Re. Oh wow. I always make such a mess in here when I'm cooking. Okay. That's right. Dance, dance with your honey. Oh, good, Martine. I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, you know what? Break up. <laughs> Break up, they hun. All right. I guess that, yo, maybe All that right. isn't a good one. This is the, All right. this is what's we'll the left one. of the churros You didn't here. break up. They did, what, yeah. It sure would make better story, right? Um, let me think here. I got All right, hang on. One here. Uh, this is what's left of my churro dough. Stick it in, oh my gosh. All right. Let's make a, let's make a churro swirl. Like a, should we make a, Let's make a circular okay, one. So oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, no, not that one. <laughs> Is that what it said? Heartbroken? All right, let's see if I can do, um, let's do a fancy one. Let's do a fancy oh, one. Oh, here we go. I know. Here it is. For Garrett, since he couldn't get his oh, there swirl go. churro. There we go. Since he couldn't get his. his this in, uh, is for Carlos and Suzanne and Tony and Marty. Rachel, I'm trying to make him a warrior fan. It's hard making. It's hard making fancy food. Where did my thing go? <laughs> All 
right, that other stuff, I gotta get out. <laughs> I gotta put it on a plate. Oh, too late, Martin. You gotta, you gotta love them now. the other stuff. Oh, it's on lighting. the stove. It said that sprinkle sugar. Sprinkling sugar. Flake glue. That's right, get your partner and dance. This is a Spanish um You're ruining their moment, specialty. Michelle. You're ruining their moment. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna harden. Eat this with cheese. Like cheese and crackers, cheese and this stuff. You didn't know I can make so many things in one night, huh? Oh, there we go. It's very sticky. <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. All right, then I'm going to put more sugar. I'm going to get that one out. All right. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, This is the. This is the. William, um, welcome in, William. This is the quince from Chile. It's a fruit, and it's. Um, hang on, I'm and like you, burning and my. And you just ruined their their I'm, moment. I'm burning my. You ruined face. the moment for the our love birds. I gotta flip this. Hmm. Oh my gosh, these are super cute, you guys. Wait till you see what's coming out of the fryer. Ooh, what's coming out of the fire? I made a special for Garrett because he couldn't get one in Fantasyland when we were there. They were all out. What were they called? The cinnamon swirls? Right? Oh, I forgot. No, the gyros. The gyros. The gyros. Cinnamon. Okay, well, I made you your very own cinnamon gyro churro. Check it out. What is that? You the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, where am I? Oh, how are we doing on the... Uh, here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, did she snore like, um, like Michelle? What? She <laughs> snores. Look at Suzanne it. Suzanne is like snoring. A... I'll tell you, Michelle could really snore up a it's storm. A cinnamon gyro spiral. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, they can't really see it because when you, it's not in focus. Is that better? Mm, I guess. Up so. against my black shirt. Right. It's like a cinnamon, it's like a, I don't know what you call it. All right, there's another one in there. I got to make sure I'm not burning that. Something else is going on. All right, so. Ice cream and hot fudge. We have whipped cream. Ooh. Someday, we got another one coming out. When I'm awfully low. When the world is cold. We had another one. I will feel a glow just thinking of you. I will get to work on your image, Carlos. There we go. Later on. Oh, super chill. And another cinnamon. Okay. Thank you. And another cinnamon swirl. Here, we'll show you. We'll show you our regular churros. And your cheeks so soft. Oh my gosh. There is nothing for Every me but to love you. And the way there we go. We got these are like breakfast. All right. These are the regular churros. I'm just cooking the extra with extra dough. With oh, the waffle bones. You know what I'm going to try? Your tenderness grows. Tearing my fear. I'm going to try this. 
We have a big mess going on here. Now I'm going to try this. It's a little hot still. I think you're supposed to let it cool first. I might put it on the churro. This is like a fruit. It's like a fig, like a figgy, sticky. I can't believe it myself. Suddenly I'm up on top of the world. Super sticky, I can't even get it off my knife. I'm gonna have to make a picture of this one. And then I'll have to make it a PNG, and it'll connect his head. <laughs> It's super. I should put them on a sky. The texture is kind of weird. I'm not sure if I cooked it right. The greatest American hero. Right. My oil cooled down and I still have churros to make. And then I think we're finished with that. Oh jeez. That's right, check out Disardry, Jeff and Angela. I gotta make a few more churros and then and then we're finished. Here's our our shrimp the shrimp churro. Oh left. shrimp churros, love it. I wonder if the I wonder if the hot sauce goes good with that too. It's like a sweet and a sweet hot sauce, which actually goes pretty Ooh, good there's with also the cinnamon sugar. Which I'm going to make a and the shrimp. That's this is the shrimp churro. All of them had cinnamon sugar, so they were all like Carlos, sweet. Carlos, Disney World free. Okay, there we go. There you go. <laughs> I like the I know, cheeseburger gotta, one. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta crop all the stuff out around your head and make a PNG. So let me uh, tell them what this is. You are now. You're on the. You're next in the queue when I start doing these. Maybe I'll do that tonight. Dip. I'll have to get people's faces. Dip it, dip it, dip it. Okay. There we go. Do they want to know what this is? What is that? This is... I think I've stepped into it. <laughs> it's very sweet and sticky. It's almost... Ew. It's like a paste that hardens. I don't know if I... You know when you cook sugar, it, it gets like hard. It's like a candy. So this is almost like a candy that I made with um, a piece of fruit because it's Fun Food Friday and I lost my other piece of fruit. So I had two pieces of fruit that um, I've never heard of before. Mm -hmm. This one and then another one. And so um, I was showing you what you could do with it. The other one was called a quince. So it looked like a pear, but you can't eat it raw. You actually have to cook it. And in Spain, um, this is one of the most popular <laughs> snacks. They call it Don't membrillo. Be Carlos. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to Jose about that. 
They call this membrio, and they serve it I with. I know it looks like the blob. Manchego cheese. Go. It looks like the blob on that horror movie. It's um, it's 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 like a jelly. It's like a hardened jelly. Like it's almost tastes like fig. It almost tastes like heart like a crunchy fig. I don't know how to explain it. It's got sugar on top, and like I said, in Spain they serve this paste with manchego cheese as a like a snack appetizer or whatever, and probably some sangria. I would imagine. Um, so you could probably serve it like on your oatmeal or your cereal or something. It's kind of like a sweet marmalade or a sweet, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's actually hard. It's almost candied. It's like hardened like candy. So that's, um, what else we made. And then it tastes pretty, tastes pretty good. But it has a lot of sugar in there. And then the last one, and it also helps, um, cal calm your nausea. And it was used all the way back into Rome. They ate that. They ate that fruit, fruit back in Rome. And so this other fruit is called a oh, actually, fizua. A I do. Has anybody seen a fizua? A fizua. Anybody know how to eat a fizua? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So a fizua. This one came from New Zealand. I do have one of you, Carlos. What? This came from New Zealand, and it's a subtropical -trop flowering plant. And this smells just like perfume. Like if you smell it, it smells like. Um, there we go. It smells like perfume, like um, like a florally perfume. It kind of smells good, there. and there it's go. e supposedly tastes like a pineapple, apple, <laughs> and mint. Are you listening to me? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so this tastes like apple, pineapple, mint combination. There we go. So we're gonna try it out. I'm as my um, as my uh, my there you go, churros are cooking, <laughs> and um, you can actually eat the petals of the tree. That it's a very um, popular garden tree in New Zealand. Let me oh, see what else I did got, I learn. I and then you Jonathan. just scoop it out. So I think it's kind of like a kiwi. Good night. Has anybody Good night, seen Carlos. that? Thanks for hang stick. Good night, Carlos. <laughs> Thanks for stopping um, in. Losing rock, paper, scissors, the way you eat one of those. No, no, I think it's going to be good. <coughs> so I'm going to try it out right now. Carlos. We're going to test test this out on Fun Food Friday. You saw it here. He's um, a real hoot and a half. So right now my oil is just to temperature. I'm going to squirt the rest of these in there. And then we're done. That's like the rest of my churros. I'm going to stick them in there. And of course. Real quick. <coughs> all right, now I can what in the world of Russ? Because he provided the, the Super Jeff body. Thank you, Russ. Oh, you provided the super jet body. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to get rid of the rest of this dough here. There we go. We've got one, two. I'll work on your head. <laughs> this is like an arm workout. I ah, went down the wrong pipe. Three. Okay, where are we now? What are we doing? Yeah, I'm just getting rid of the dough. We're making the rest of our churros. Okay, I'm and then gonna I'm going to show you this fruit. We'll put Jeff then, over here. And then we can talk about whatever we want. You know. So there's rumors about Splash Mountain. Splash I don't think Mountain. it's anything official from Disney World or Disneyland mm -hmm. yet. All right, there we go. That's it. That's the end of the churros. Okay. Down scale so wants a cook, churro injector. We're gonna check out this. Ooh, yeah, that would be kind of. Fizua. Who's had scale? a fizua in the chat? Anybody? Am I even pronouncing it right? I don't know. Where my mom grew on this. Oh, she grew up on that Spanish fruit. No, I missed it. Let me see. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Um. Let me see. She grew up on it. So does it look right? Have you ever seen her eat it? There we go. Does it look like what it's supposed to look like? Okay. I think my churros are going to be done in like two seconds. Let me move these guys over somewhere else. Hold on. Because my churros have to come out already. They were too fast. Ah, they're cooking too fast. And I'm going to have to put them on here. So that's pretty cool, Debbie. So have you had it before? All right. They're done. Where's my... Hey! The okay, here we go. Disney, Disney Master Chief. Hey, 
Welcome in. If I, we missed you, sorry about it. If we didn't say hi. Who did we miss? Wait, am I live? The Disney Master Chief. Oh, is it Master Chief? Not Master Chef? I'm no. Just, oh, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Chief, I think. Um, Chief. Cool. Chef. Welcome in. Chief. Chief. Is Master Chief. Chief. If we didn't say hi. Sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry we missed you. Amy. All right, I'm trying to get my um, food out before I burn it, though. Hang on. That was the Pirates game. Did they win? put a lot of them in there. I put a lot of them in there this time. I shouldn't have done so many at once. Oh, there's one I like. Where's the one I like? Okay. There we go. There we go. It's hard to roll them when they're not exactly flat. And the other ones in there are cooking too fast. All right. Okay. There we go. These are the left, these are like what's left of the churro dough. See, they're getting brown like super fast. There we go. All right, let me turn that oil off. We don't need that anymore. So don't catch the kitchen on fire. All right. There we go. I know a little boy who's gonna be super excited in the morning for some sugary cinnamon treats. Except, you know what? Churros are only good like... What's that? I was like, I know someone is gonna be really excited about these in the morning, but you know what? They don't taste good like after they're cold. That's the only thing about churros. You gotta eat them that when they come true. right out of the... You gotta eat them when they come right out of the fryer. Yeah, they are not good to All just right, let so sit around. What I'm doing over here is I'm trying to clean my pan, which is like super hot. Hang on, put my hand again. I'm trying to get this stuff off of there. All right. Don't grab the, don't grab the thing when it's super hot. All right, we're gonna test out this fruit and um, teach you something new if what you haven't you? had it already. So again, it's a fizua. Ready? What is it? It's a fizua. What's I, that? I just went through the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> it's a, a New it. Zealand fruit. Looks oh, like, okay. oh, it looks kind of like a cucumber. Did you eat it? Yeah, we're going to eat it right now. It looks like a cucumber. Mm. Um, it's supposed to be sweet pineapple minty. It's very, kind of reminds me of a kiwi. It smells a little bit like cucumber. Minty, cucumbery, pineapple-y, and it smells like perfume. And I think you're just supposed to scoop it out and eat it. So if it's anything like a kiwi, I'm gonna eat it the way I eat my kiwi, which is I just scoop it out with a little spoon. Mm -hmm. Except all our little spoons are nowhere to be found. Yos, we had a tree in our backyard in New Zealand. What, you were, uh, you New, lived in hey, New Zealand? Hmm. Who had that? The wilderness land. I didn't know that, Russ. Cool. Wait, are you? Did you live in New Zealand? Did you eat these? So am I eating it the right way? I don't want to eat it the wrong way. What's an acquired taste? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can pass on that one. No, it's not bad. It's just um, it tastes like a flower. It tastes a little minty, you're right. It's like a pineapple, apple. Kind of tastes like... Gabriel, we should have him try it. He always is... Hey, Gabe! Gabriel, come try a, a something new. Where is that kid? Gabriel! Try this. 
It's um, it's like a kiwi. Yeah, you can have one of those, but eat one of these first. It's like a kiwi. Try it. It's like an apple. It's like an apple. Look at the camera. What do you think? It's minty? Yeah. Yeah, you can have one of those. They're hot, so be careful. Is it a thumbs up? Which one's a thumbs up? Is that a thumbs up? What about this? You want more of this? Did you like it? No, it was a half. It was like a half like it. Okay, we don't need this one anymore. Okay, he had to shape this one like a candy cane. Oh, it, it just kind of happened that way. Um, we have a big, a big mess. If anybody wants to come over after Fun Food Friday, help me clean the kitchen. It's your dance party. You get another. You want another one? You like those? But you don't want this. Sick. Give some to Hannah. She can try. Interesting. It's like a key. It's kind of like a kiwi, but not really. Minty. Did you eat these, Russ? One more. All right. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Fun Food Friday. Oh no, I still have my shrimp stuck in here. I'm gonna have to like unburrow it with a chopstick or something. I got it all under control. We'll just shove it back out. Let's try this. I was trying to stuff the churros with the with the straw. There we go. It's an acquired taste. It is. Right here. A celebration to last you all the years. Oh man. There's like sugar all over the floor.
Good night. night. Master Chi, thanks for coming in. Have a great night. Sleep, sleep good. Come back and see me tomorrow. Welcome in. Hey, Nick. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, that was a cool one. Boy, <laughs> I made a big mess tonight. All right. Mm, so, would you good. have a favorite? What was your favorite? You guys come back and see me tomorrow if you like Bon Jovi even better. There you go. I'm going to be at the Sunnyvale um, Art and Wine Festival, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Cool. Eastern. And there's a band there called uh, Steel Horse, and they do a lot of Bon Jovi songs. So they're going to play for a little while, and then I'm going to walk around and show you what's happening at the festival. So if you're not doing anything and you want to stop by, that would be super awesome. Cool. Come and see me. It might be me and Hannah. You know? Yeah. Did everybody have a good time? Did you guys I have did. a good time? Would you eat one of my churros? Would and you, if so, you which one would you eat? Would you eat, <laughs> would you eat any of the churros food. that I made tonight on tonight's episode of Fun Food Friday? And did you guys learn anything about the fruit? It's not bad. It's an acquired taste. It tastes like a minty cucumber. <laughs> yep, that's right. Pineapple it's apple thing. Up. It's not bad. I like it. I actually do like it. I just haven't finished eating. I got to get this out of here. It's kind of goopy. Here. It's goopy. Oh, the, the dough. I'm just trying to clean this um get this all out of the way here because i always make such a i always make such a big mess in the kitchen but that's why it's fun food fun food friday because we get to thanks. learn stuff thank you everyone thank you who all showed, for coming who, uh, and hanging out with us. Out us showed up at any time for yes, as long as we you really did. appreciate that and yeah, um whenever you do so no stream on sunday because like um i no said stream sunday tomorrow i'm gonna and be taking you somewhere new and somewhere you haven't seen before so we're trying plain trail but nothing stuffed with anything what's that oh uh, pam you gotta be adventurous what'd she say she's what you're she trying would not want anything stuffed in there <laughs> oh you want anything stuffed in there um i thought they might be good the the, the cheeseburger one was interesting um the churros themselves I don't like the fact that they're so skinny because the Disney one land ones aren't so skinny. Um, so I guess you need something like fatter to like pipe them with. That that's me. I'm the, I'm the same person who doesn't like square pizza, right? So it's all about shape and texture what? and size that's because ridiculous. the size matters. <laughs> and I need a bigger churro. That's just too skinny. So oh well, that's. That's that. Super Jeff is bringing. I think it's chewier, you know, like if, if like if it's too skinny like that, then it's too crunchy. If that makes any sense. Like a bigger, fatter churro, it's a more doughy inside. That's why I like the bigger one. So anyway, um, be sure and check out our partner channel, Dis Our Dream. They stream um, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and they'll be at the park tomorrow. One of the Walt Disney World parks. I'm not sure where they are at tomorrow. If anybody knows, um, 
Oh, they use it in pies. Oh, yeah, I heard they use it in beauty products because it's a little Ooh. grainy. They use it as an exfoliator. Thank you. Yes, Russ, it, it, it is. It is used in cosmetics as an exfoliator. Um, and uh, let me see. That's all I learned about it. Um, it grows in other countries, true, but Brazil, Colombia, and this, this one actually came from New Zealand. Um, so I guess you consider it an exotic do you consider this an exotic fruit? I don't know. Just something that's, you know, unusual around here. So always go outside your comfort zone. And if you see something at the store that you've never seen before, or you don't know what it is, just pick it up and go home and Google it. And maybe you can try something new that you've never tried out before and go outside your comfort zone. <laughs> um, you just never know where you might find something that you like. And again, those of you who know, I love the yellow, the gold kiwis. Like I liked kiwis until I tasted the gold kiwis. And now that's like my absolute favorite fruit in the whole wide world. So um, if you see those and or you even a kiwi and you're like not eating a kiwi before, you should try them because they're good. Hey, Felix. Hey, Felix. Um, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> So that's my story. And yeah, I'm we're kind of rough. Rachel, are our Warriors winning on Sunday? <laughs> I hope so. Hey, Detroit Disney duo. Hey, Detroit Disney duo. We're just cleaning up my my mess in here. Uh, just Jeff was dancing and don't, doing a bunch of things tonight. Is Jeff going to give a monologue? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but thanks for coming in. Don't forget to bop that like button, you guys. And if anyone's back and, there ninja watching or you're new, hey, just Megan. checking us out. Um, and thank Please. you, Jeff, for being uh, our guest tonight. Yeah, on screen. Um, <laughs> and uh, be sure and hit that subscribe button, too, if you haven't I already done will. that. We're going to be back, like I said, tomorrow at the Sunnyvale Art and Wine Festival. Um, and a little bit of that's going to be this band um, that plays a lot of Bon Jovi songs. So if you're into that kind of music or you know someone who's into that kind of music, you might want to tell them um, about the stream so they can pop in and, and see if they like it. So, um, who else? Let me see. Did you see all the new churros with the flowers on them? No. Where is that? At Disneyland? We missed that. They're always coming out, always coming out with something new with the churros, which is one reason that we love to go to the parks and that you never get tired of it because they're always coming up with <clears throat> new snacks and all sorts of stuff. As a matter of fact, we went to the Tale of a Lion King, the Tale of a Lion King uh, opening show at Disneyland last Saturday and they also opened Trabador Tavern and it had uh, they had all new snacks there uh, one of them was like a pineapple drink um, with like a um, a colored water a colored pineapple I want to say it was a colored pineapple like a pink tinted pineapple on top and then um, they had some cookies uh, and they were like animal they were sugar cookies and like peanut butter cookies but they had frosting on them to look like animal print like zebra print and leopard print and all that kind of stuff so always fun i just eat the flowers <laughs> that's funny downscale you know believe it or not there's some edible plants in the park there's actually over in tomorrowland they grow um they do grow but i guess they i, I want to say they use pesticides so they tell the guests not to pick the pick the plants and eat them even if it's edible like rosemary or something like that so that's pretty funny um, Jeff could host the Oscars. <laughs> um, waiting. <laughs> um, all right, lake number 70. So next Fun Food Friday, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll do something. I wanted to go to like a, what was it called? The food truck? They had like a food, food truck. They had a food truck Friday in the next town over. Well, it's called Fremont F Food Truck Fights or so. I, no, not, that, I don't think that's what it's called. It's something food, food, food truck something. And it's like a big food truck festival. And they have it every Friday night. Um, and I thought, well, that'd be, that, that would be interesting. But I don't know. We don't hang out over there very often, so we'll have to mm. we'll have to find maybe some other things to do for Fun Food Friday. But that that was an option. I don't know how exciting a, a food truck would be, though. I mean, there was a lot of them. Mm. Um, let's see. And um, 
keep checking back because we're going to be going some other i want to go to this air show i don't know if we're going to go or not but i'd like to go to this air show and it's i think on the 11th of june and we're going to go see top gun soon so i'm going to be talking about that i'm sure has anybody seen it yet top gun maverick the new one um i hear it's like fantastic and it had a it had a record break re record breaking what do you call it opening weekend because it just opened a couple like on the 27th of may so i'm definitely looking forward to going i just wish the people that i was gonna go with were um as excited about it as me mm. are you as excited as i am about it Oh, I think it'd be kind of cool. I don't think he's, he's, not, he's not as excited, but I am super pumped. Um, what? Oh, oh, they have him in Scotts Valley on Friday nights. Oh, thanks, right, Rachel. Is it like one or is it like a whole? Um, this is they have like music and bands and food trucks and that kind of stuff. So <laughs> that's a Street Fighter Two mod. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was something it was something with the food trucks, but anyway, I just thought. It, it was funny. Um, oh, Hassan saw, saw the trailer. Me too. I saw the trailer. So here's the thing. I want to go see it on the IMAX screen. I heard that it's going to be fantastic. And um, and it was filmed, you know, the way they, they filmed it, like it, it flo it's just like made for IMAX. And... Um, you know we're in san jose and there's imax theaters here so we have an opportunity to go see it on the imax and i just think it's just gonna blow me away i can't wait but then again you don't want to set yourself up to be super excited because then you're like let down sometimes when you leave the theater so we'll see but so far everybody that i heard loved it um oh we saw it in the imax oh cool but opening is another Marvel. Okay, oh, um, let me see. Jonathan saw it on the IMAX, and the opening sequence doesn't transition to the start of the film as great as the original, but the opening is another Marvel of filming. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I understand. I don't know that I get that exactly. <laughs> I do know that I do know that the filming was different with the fight, like the flying scenes. It's more a different camera was used so i think the flying scenes come better on the imax screen so maybe you were saying that's the trend tra 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 transition oh, from sure. when they Rachel went those. you know from the when they went to one yeah. one camera to the other or something um it was a good movie when you get the chance to it was really good yep oh i heard people liked it better yeah i heard people liked it better um yeah so I'm super excited. Sure, Rachel, you can send it. Anyway, um, do you have something to, to read to them or share with them? Oh, uh. <laughs> we have to give you your inspirational message for the evening. We actually didn't do that, huh? Let me see. What, um, and also, we can do our prayer requests right now. So if anybody, we, um, if you guys sent, asked for prayer requests too while we were streaming at Disneyland, um, oh, I, sorry. I took a couple, are you muting me? No. Oh, I, I took a couple screenshots, but it's easier um, to see on um, Instagram, so I, I want to make sure we didn't miss any. So uh, if you can, just be sure if you asked us for prayers to just follow up and send them to me on Instagram, or you can just type them in the chat right now so I can write them down, because it's a little bit hard to do when we're like out, um, out and about streaming around town. Um... We are the champ. Hey, Anne, welcome in. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. So I think that'll be next week. Um, and let me see. Oh, Hannah graduates next. She graduates next Wednesday. There's no Thursday. She graduates next Thursday. So like that's the, the big end of school week. And uh, I'm not sure if she's excited about it or not. I know a lot of her friends are going to go to different schools and sometimes transitions hard. So I don't know. I don't know if Daniel's still here. I know you moved and had to move to a new school and like meet new friends and everything. So maybe you've got some pointers I'm trying to, it's always hard fitting in like when you're a teenager or when you're a kid in school and moving around. 
Um, oh, yeah. Or you can email it there. She's graduating from eighth grade. So she's going to high school next year. The big... People already think she's in high school because she's like so, so tall and so... Um, I don't even want to say poised, but she just... She seemed like a grown-up from the time she was a baby. I don't even know if you can explain that, right? She's always had a more of a mature spirit about her. So a lot of people just kind of already assume she's in high school, but she's only just, yeah, been in junior high. So jello, oh, jello filled churros. We didn't try that. <laughs> we still have some churros, but like I said, um, I need to figure out a way to pipe them. So they like go bigger, like the ones at Disneyland. Cause those are too skinny. Um, your sister-in-law, she's sick. You know sure, what? Rachel. Give a good uh, story from your, your life. Somebody, um, something that somebody inspired you. Uh, no, oh, he... Oh, something, somebody. Um, uh, somebody. Uh, okay, I'm going to give you a story. Hold on just a sec. Sister-in-law um, is sick. All right, Rachel, we'll pray for her. Um, with two kids that's hard to take care of kids when you're not feeling well um <laughs> um it sounds soggy i really like that i don't want to oh yeah no i heard he was in there yeah i know he's got the um uh, kilmer throat and um let me see who the hayden that was from hayden and then oh congratulations i'll tell her you said that debbie um okay so i have to give you a story of somebody who inspired me yep in your life somebody who inspired me in my family life. friends somebody you remember well don't take forever either i can think of somebody <laughs> okay i won't name names but uh it's a friend of uh it's a friend of garrett's <laughs> and um he's he's a, a friend of garrett's that i know from him and he's a you know a good family friend of ours but you know it's not somebody that i get to chat with very often until like recently and um just talking to him he, he it's inspirational when you talk to people who are so motivated and push themselves like so hard and they just get everything done. And, um, and you're just like, what, you know, how do people, how do people get so much, so much stuff done in like one day? Because then you can see, you see people from both spectrums and even someone else who's driven and you know, this is a little, he's not, I'm, he's not my hero, but like, for example, Tom Cruise, he's like super driven. I mean, just he's just a go, go, go. Like, I don't think these people ever shut down. So anyway, this this is a friend of Garrett's who's one of those very go, go, go people. And it just inspires me because, you know, when you think you're doing enough and you're handling yourself and you have a load, maybe you feel like your load's like too much. Um, it depends what you're comparing yourself to, right? Like if you're comparing yourself to someone who, you know, just, you know, doesn't, have a lot of goals or doesn't do a lot of things, then you might feel like you're busy and you're accomplishing things. You can also be busy like me and be busy, busy doing a lot of busy work and not really getting anything done or or meeting your goals or, or making progress or becoming a better person. So it, it's just inspiring to see people are able to do that and like manage their life and manage their work and manage their personal life and their spiritual life and um, and have their act together and not be freaked out. Um, and I don't know if you guys know anybody like that, but I think it's important to have somebody like that in your life um, because they're very, they're positive and they're encouraging. And then, you know, if you, you feel sometimes like, oh, you know, I, I can do that or I, I can be like that. I just maybe have to change a few things in myself. Maybe I just have to like read some more books or study. And I noticed that that's like a really big thing about people who are driven is that they're constantly trying to make themselves better in, in a terms of knowledge wise. Like they're always trying to learn. 
um, trying to learn something new. A lot of them teach themselves. Like they don't even maybe necessarily have to go to school and don't feel like you have to go to school. And heck, now we have YouTube. So, you know, you can get a lot of stuff off of YouTube. Granted, it's not always correct stuff. So I would kind of um, be a little bit cautious if you're trying to learn a new skill there. <laughs> um, but I think that's something that is just really important to always be trying to look at situations or things um, and how you could have done it better and not always be like, oh, you know, that was great or I did that, that was great. Like always look for the things maybe that aren't so positive that you, you could have done better so that you can work on those things and improve yourself. And again, it's never too late to learn. It's not always as easy when you get older, but it's never... Never too late to learn a new skill or new, um, or just even go back and revisit something that you learned in high school or in, you know, in like math or um, those kind of things. So that, I think that that's my inspiration that you're never too old to learn something new and knowledge is power. Like you can do, you know, you, if, the more you learn and teach yourself and know how to do things, like you can go far and, um, and be, helpful you can help others especially and it opens up connections it opens up network your networking it opens up um you know who you can uh connect with and meet with and not just to be like oh i know so and so but more as a way that it it helps open up an opportunity to um reach people and be encouraging to like maybe more people if that makes any sense so that's that's my I guess my inspirational story. I probably rambled too long, but um, and I don't know. You you know feel free to share if you have people like that in your life. But I think it's just important to really see who you surround yourself with. And as a matter of fact, he also gave me the same advice. Like you need you kind of become who you are around. Um, and if you know if you look at the people that you're around, chances are you're gonna have like similar lifestyles or maybe similar habits. So if you have um, a desire to be different, then you maybe need to look about meeting more people who have those kind of qualities. So anyway, <laughs> that was good. that's my two cents. Um, um, thank you, Felix. Thank you. You'll be back tomorrow. What time? Well, I'm going to be on at 1 p.m. Pacific. If everything, if everything works correctly, I should be live at 1 p.m. Um, I don't know how long I'll stream, a couple hours. You know, we'll, we'll see if we're having fun. We'll stay for a while, and if not, you know, we'll we'll uh, cut it short. I know the band plays, like, I think it's an hour. They play from 1 to 2.30, and then I thought I'd look around at the festival, and if no one likes the band, then I won't stay there and watch them for the whole time. <laughs> Just kind of, we'll play it by ear and see um, what everybody likes. And um, I think... I'm expecting Hannah to be hanging out with me and um, and it's going to be in, we're going to be at a Sunnyvale Art and Wine Festival in California. Cool. So that's, hey, thank, you, well, thank you everybody. Thank you. Thanks to the moderators. Check, Check each other out. Yep. Some of them have some, not all of you have content, but some of the people here have content. So, um, you know, if you feel like it, check out some of the other um, great channels that we have here in the chat. I know they would appreciate that. And like I said, if you haven't already, bop the like button. And um, any, anyone watching Ninja who's um, just hanging out there, you're always welcome in to just hang out and, and watch. And if anyone's new and hasn't, just consider checking out our videos. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Um, Martine said she became a nurse after watching YouTube. She became a, what? Oh, a nurse? Oh, wow. Good movie. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Very yeah. cool. Good night. And I'm going to uh, put Soaring Over California on. All right. Good night, everybody.
Where'd you dig this portal up? Welcome, foolish mortals. The happy haunts have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize. They're assembling for a swinging wake. No flash pictures. Please, as a first printer, to such quick truth and not the same way. Happy haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Bring me no scrap to socialize.
it seems The closer I get to you I'm not always been the best man A friend for you But your love remains true And I don't know why You always seem to give me another try
we're gonna make it.